The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, ladies and gentlemen, I have a first-time duo. I have oh, two very is. excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is Yay. the funniest, kind of chubby guy with a crazy wife and a gambling problem. Please welcome uh, Mr. Ball? Steve <laughs> right. Peters. Steve Peters. Yeah. 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 Gotta love that yeah. guy. Uh, but also, we have another very good stand-up comedian. He has been on the road quite a bit lately, so yeah. I've been told. Mm -hmm. He is the very funny Mr. Mike Baldwin. hey -o. This is the This is the very first time that you guys have done this show together. Correct. Yeah. We but, hate each other outside of this. We, but we, put, our, <laughs> we put our vengeance yes. aside. But apparently, you guys have worked together doing stand-up comedy quite frequently. Uh, I would uh, say, yeah, I captured more a, often than a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, I jacked an awesome picture of both of you on the road and it posted great. it. That's a yeah. that was a very was pretty a picture of that both of nice. you. Mike looks like he's kind of homeless in the driver's seat. Thanks. If I ever get lucky enough to get a Tinder page, I'm going to use that. <laughs> as my lucky enough, yeah. yeah, you know, it is what it is. I like how your my wife frowns on it. You're like, I'm gonna end this marriage, but I'm not gonna join Tinder until it's officially over. I'm exactly. not an asshole. Yeah, all right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ah, shit. No, uh, she's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's how this show works. We're allowed to say whatever shitty thing we want about anybody, but then you have to end it with a compliment. Yeah, exactly. Or say I'm uh -huh. kidding, and then everything's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a comedy podcast. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to this show, where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events, and uh, we're not going to have a whole lot of sports today, but you know there will be some uh, inappropriate jokes about sports as well. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast, uh, so that means we use foul language and uh, like to offend a lot of uh, particular groups of people. So if you have thin skin, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Bye. Okay. All right. Not any, like, specific group of people. No, just anybody We don't pick the yeah. same one week after week or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely fluctuates. It could be any group. Yes. It very. I mean... For which which really, once you divide people into groups enough times, you end up at the individual yes, level, which yes. is how the world should be. That's right. And if you're offended by jokes, you're doing it wrong. So that's the whole point of the show. Uh, but we do have an excellent show for you guys this week. Uh, we've got some headlines to go over. We do have some sports in there, but... Um, I don't. I don't see Mike as being a, a really crazy sports fan. I love sport. Yeah, the ball, the game with the balls and the points. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love the game of sport. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we got some headlines to go through. We've got never have I ever, which Mike has not been a part of yet. No, I haven't. Yeah, and uh, we also have that's where I draw the line, which I don't know if you've had that I've, one. I've been here. Okay, for that. okay, you were there for that one because I say now that's where I draw the line. <laughs> that's right, <laughs> and it's a, a great joke every time. <laughs> we also have questions and preguntas. Mm -hmm. As always, we have a draft, and then we wrap this thing up with a shitty situation, but. We're going to kick this thing off with our week, week recap where we get to talk about what's been happening to us over the last week or weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to kick this thing off with uh, Steve because we, oh. we actually had a, uh, a quite a few listeners, quite a few people who follow us on socials and TikTok mm -hmm. and everything like that. And I think the, the most asked question out of anybody and everything was they want to know how your, uh, your follow-up appointment was with your therapist. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I have storm. not I have not been back. Oh. Uh, I was just too busy and I couldn't go. But 
uh, the other day, my wife Poor said Brennan. some sideways shit to me, and I said, you know, that's fucked up that you're telling me that, and her answer back to me was, oh, why don't you go tell fucking Brennan about it? <laughs> <laughs> like, it was the bitchiest thing she's probably ever said. She's the one that made me go to this therapy thing to begin with, and then she's fucking with me because the guy's name is Brennan. It's not even my fault. Like, that's not even my fault. No, it sounds like you're in the clear in this one. She has bath salts, though. Uh, I found them today. Oh, yeah, so you took yep. yourself a nice bath? Yeah, it's lavender. I thought that he <laughs> took that shit and he ate people's faces and shit like that. <laughs> Isn't that, not, don't you have to eat it or snort it or something? Or I don't smoke know. smoke it? Is How that, do you ingest So that was salts? my other question. Is that really like a drug? Like, is that... Like the craziest drug you can get is at Bed Bath and Beyond. I mean, maybe is that a real? Th I don't I know. know. Honestly, I, just, I, don't I don't know. I don't know if that's like the name for it, and it's like something else. Yeah, we need to research that. I we guess. Should. I guess so. It's either something that gets you high or fucked up, or you can make bombs out of, like uh, you know, homemade bombs. That's probably no, like what the, it is. You, the people have taken that shit and they eat people's faces. I oh, think, I think a guy ate a guy's face, and then they just said people exactly. are eating people's faces. Yeah. but I don't know honestly. Yeah. and well, you would think if it was really that good, it would be an issue still. Yeah. Yeah, because it starts out tasting like lavender or whipped cream or something. This sounds like a Tide and Pod And then you end up situation. naked in a fucking street somewhere eating somebody's face. Well, that's... Yeah. You know. I feel like that's a... I've I don't know. That's a misleading thing. It could face. be. You know. I've never eaten any face of anything in my whole life. I don't never? think. Beef lips? Mm, no. I ate well, a that's... lamb eyeball one time at Greek Easter. Oh, that's a good time. That was weird. It was yeah. very sandy. Yeah. I feel like I would have just swallowed it without <laughs> chewing it much. I'd Whoa. be like, let's just get it down. You know? yeah, that was weird. It's like a giant pill. Oh, <laughs> like, I got to take my eyeball oh. for the day. Or I'm gonna... So I haven't, I haven't been back. I was supposed to be back, but yeah. I haven't been back. Yeah. You should go. It's awesome. Yeah. I went for a while. I'm not going anymore because I ain't a little bitch. But. <laughs> okay, so, oh, oh, I did get a new uh, therapist. Oh, you so did? So I went to my doctor yesterday. And they said, hey, we have a therapist in the office. Would you like to meet with her? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. And they said, her name is Madison. Huh. And I was like, that sounds hot immediately. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, my wife can't fuck with me about Brennan if I get to go see a hot chick. And then they brought Madison in. And she was smoking like on hot. a fucking forklift. <laughs> Best thing you ever saw. She was a fucking beast. <laughs> Very nice, broad. Very, very nice. Uh, Man, I still I, think I'm going to go see her and just tell my wife that she's hot. But yeah, I feel not, bad because that's probably there. a real name, and she's probably very self conscious and and probably listens to this. I show. was going to say she's at least googling your name, and it's going to well, pop up on this. Yeah. And you're going to be like boost on a forklift, <laughs> and then she'll, you'll she'll have, have to have go to, see her, and she'll, she'll be like, "So go. tell me about your weeks." Do you know you? what? That's what happened to Brennan. That's yeah. exactly what happened to Brennan. He looked up. Steve found the video of him there you go. calling him a little bitch, and then he just basically stopped answering his phone calls. Yeah, right? I don't I don't know if this chick would. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, she'd just have to go to therapy about it, I guess. I, I mean, I guess. You know? <laughs> she probably knows quite a few. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it'd be like all right. The, yeah, it is never good ending. for you, It's the though. circle of therapy life. <laughs> it's good for you. Like, it, it definitely helped me. I, I ended up at therapy because I... I had a, the worst girlfriend in the world and I yeah. talked her well I just made her basically go to like couples therapy with me nice. and we walked in together and I was like this bitch <laughs> this fucking and, and you know we talked for a while and and the counselor person was like all right you step out and Mike you stay and he was like all right yes that bitch absolutely <laughs> but what is it about you that makes you attracted to that and I was like, no, nope, you're not doing this to me. <laughs> so that was like my first foray into therapy. And he was like, why don't you come back and talk to me by yourself next week? And yeah. we can kind of work this shit out and cut to a month later. And I'm just like, she just like, I don't. And so, yeah, it's good for you. <laughs> then I ended up in like group therapy and stuff and sitting around in a circle and talking about all the weird shit. And that yeah. sounds fucking horrible. It was I'm one of the most helpful that. things I've done in my life. Cause it's good to sit around uh, and be like, man, I am not nearly as fucked up as these people are. This mm. is, this is how much I did not want to ever have to do like a group therapy session is I, did not want to do group therapy to the point to where you go to one of those AA meetings and you have to say your name and everybody goes, hi, Scotty. 
and you have to talk about your problems. Never, ever want to do that. So I quit alcohol on my own <laughs> and just did it that way. And I'm doing all right. All right. Uh, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to do a group therapy. I don't want everybody else to tell me about their problems. I just care about my problems. Fuck all their problems. They can figure it out themselves. Well, I'm going to be a fucking man about it and just have a heart <laughs> attack and keep it to myself. <laughs> That's there you right. Go. That's what guys should do. Yeah. Um, but anything else? Uh, we've got uh, we've got the uh, funniest person in Wichita. Yeah, uh, yeah. comedy show still going on. Yeah. Um, I That's know tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's it, the final. Well, actually, it's tonight. Uh, if Tonight's the finals. If, the magic of <laughs> podcasting. <was> <laughs> <laughs> if, if you are listening to this on Wednesday morning, which mm-hmm. is when this show comes out. Uh, the finals are tonight, and uh, Derek Alders has made it through. Nice. Uh, Jordan Whitehead has made it through. Megan Welsh, um, Felix Welch. 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 Did I say Welsh? I'm yeah, sorry. Um, Felix has made it through. Uh, there's quite a few good good comedians. There's some of them that we've actually. I think Megan uh, Megan was actually on our show a long time ago. My money is on Megan Welch. You think so? Oh, 110 percent. Yeah. Um, All right. But there's a lot of a lot of good comedians out there, especially if you're in the Wichita area and you don't have anything to do on a Wednesday evening. uh, Go check it out. It's at Temple Live uh, and tickets are probably going to be pretty hard to come by by the time you listen to this episode. So if you want to go get your tickets, get them immediately. That's right. Um, But yeah, uh, I have one for sale. uh, (laughs) Yeah. I might, I might take it off of you. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I guess, did you do anything else that's fun? Watch any good shows, eat any good I, food? I bought Fuck all your of wife my, in a weird place? I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he had to think about it. No? No? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I got real drunk a couple times this week, so I, can't, I, uh, I don't know. But I did go buy my hunting licenses and stuff like that. So oh. I was uh, pretty excited about hey, that. Hey, we got a question. Nice. Yep. Comes up Where do you that. hunt? I want to go hunting. Well, uh, don't blow it because there's a question that comes up later about this particular topic. Okay. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, so, so I, no. Just walk in hunting, just like the free shit. Or okay. Whatever. I don't know anybody that has land. Yeah. He just if <laughs> you're a landowner and you need me to kill deer, get hold of the show. <laughs> there you go. I'll do it. Steve, I, Steve's out there with an AR-14. <laughs> 15. 15. Did I say 14? It's fine. Oh, I would be the same with deer as I am with like fish, I guess, where it's like, yeah, I got one. All right, now you touch it. And take it. <laughs> you take it off the thing and, and just tell me when it's burgers. Wow. Nice. I can't believe I said that. That's what? bad. I said AR-14. I am embarrassed. Right. Maybe you were thinking of a mini-14. I don't know. I got don't. Got mixed up. No. I've got one. And I, I don't know why I said yeah, that. Yeah, so stay the fuck away from yeah, Scotty's right. house. That's anyway. true. No, I have a three oh eight. I have a, yeah? uh, a very nice little sniper rifle. I'm getting a new I'm getting a new uh pistol here coming up pretty quick. Well that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm getting a Hellcat. I don't okay. have a gun because yeah. I feel like meter. the chances of me getting killed by another person are less than the chances of me getting killed by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a funny way to word that? I'm going to say it's that on stage. Right there. Beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful way of saying it. I love it. And very honest. Yeah. That's uh, was, awesome. Was that your week there, Steve? That was my week. I don't think I can't really think of anything else. That That's I did all right. That was fucking neat. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. What else did I do? Oh! I I uh I did uh open for Chris Porter. I forgot hey. about that. That was a fun. I love that guy, dude. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah, he's funny. Uh, I had a phenomenal set and Good. opened for him. Uh, and he is coming back to Vorshay's Cocktail Lounge uh, April 20, or I'm sorry, April 18th with Campfire Astronauts, which is the guitarist from Shinedown. Um, that's his can, name? Yeah. Or Matt, his, or, he has a new band. Damn it. I can't remember. His, <laughs> Zach something. Zach Myers, I think, is his name. Like, hey, I'm Mike. Um, Hi, my name's Campfire. Yeah. And so <laughs> you can call he, me Sundown. It's 2023, man. So Chris is super into music, and then uh, Zach Myers is super into comedy, and so they have a little duo show the nice so yeah sounds like fun fun yeah anyway sorry for no that's thing. okay uh i'll kick off my week we'll leave mike baldwin for the for the end hell yeah uh this is thanksgiving week everybody yeah, yeah. hell yeah uh, i'm excited yeah, yeah. uh How do you not have gobble sounds I, d- I don't i just <laughs> don't um, but that means that a lot of people who are listening to this episode are probably on the road going to wherever oh, they're supposed yeah. to be going and uh, good for you guys. Be safe out there on the roads. I know it's going to be a packed. Uh, it's a packed holiday. Everybody has to drive someplace. But guess who doesn't this year, motherfuckers? I get to stay home. Nice. nice. Woo! I'm so excited about that. My family's from all over, all over Kansas, and I don't have to go 
very far. Are they coming so, here or? Um, luckily, where we're going this year is in the Wichita area, so mm. I, d- I don't have to pack. I don't. I can go whenever I want to and leave whenever I want to. I don't have to. And it's and it's with the part of the family that I really enjoy, like their nice. company. So I'm really excited to it's do that. It's the black part of his family. That's 100% correct. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Way more fun. The funniest part is, is that my black family actually is extremely stereotypical, but they specifically like like be as stereotypical as they possibly can whenever I'm coming over because it's a funny fucking joke for them. So So Thanksgiving, the Huxtables. Yeah. So Thanksgiving with them, uh, put it this way, my best friend's birthday, uh, for, for food that they had for everybody. Guess what it was? Birthday cake, (laughs) fried chicken and, uh, and, um, Oh, God damn it. Think of your stereotypes. Hurry up. Yeah, I know. It was uh, fried chicken and then red fruit punch, but that's not what it is. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, whatever it was. I'm not going to say what everybody in the car is saying yeah, right I know. Now. But, but, <laughs> but they do that on purpose, and that's why I love my family is because they're not offended, and that's why they're cool. I like that it. That always reminds me of Chris Rock's joke about, like, or maybe it's Kool-Aid. Dave Chappelle. Jesus, it took me a while. Like, <laughs> fried chicken and Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah. No, that's, <laughs> that's not what it was. That's not what I was thinking. Oh, but, no. Fried chicken and Kool-Aid. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and cognac too but it's but. just like like at, chicken is delicious everybody yes. loves chicken yes and people Not are me. like oh you're black you must love it that's because it'll like, kill you yeah i'm allergic yeah. to chicken you're allergic to chicken I'm allergic to chicken yeah what a, that's the <laughs> gayest <laughs> thing i've ever heard okay. you say i'm not is that I'm the com- only well, thing i'm that sitting you're in jp's to? spot so i had to say <laughs> something gay yeah had to keister that no uh, i'm allergic to chicken bottle. i'm allergic to tuna I'm allergic to salmon and pine nuts. Your whole life or recently? Whole life. Wow. Yeah. Have you tried it recently? Yeah, uh, not recently, but uh, every time I've tried it, I end up in the hospital. Are you allergic to turkey? No. That is bizarre. I know. Or eggs. I can eat eggs. Wow. Yeah, it's weird. That is kind of wild. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, it's, it seems like a funny joke for your wife to pull on you to just poison you a little bit anytime oh, you. Oh, I eat. don't think it'll be a joke. <laughs> I think it'll be on purpose. That like be very like calculated. You like accidentally take a bite of chicken, and then when you're not looking, she just drops a little drip of cyanide in there. Just like, <laughs> yep, it's the chicken, babe. It's your own fault. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, hope, I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving with your families. Yeah. Everybody be safe. Um, I guess football, huh? There's football. football. There's football on black Friday too. I'm I yeah. can't, I kind of am excited for that, even though I have to work. Um, but, uh, we had, uh, I, I got to hang out with, uh, with my brother over the weekend and, uh, my wife and him and his fiance dragged me to things that I don't really like to do. Uh, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure chicken and pickle is kind of a nationally known chain of a is place it? to go fun. I, I know it's definitely around the Midwest. I think there's oh, I some in Ohio, uh, but it could just be in the Kansas, Kansas city area, but it's a big fucking place where a lot of people go like to play pickleball and eat th- chicken, eat fucking oh, chicken. Is that why they call it that? No, yeah. No. I always chicken imagined it like, like a Chick-fil-A sandwich is nope. just chicken and nope. pickles. It's chicken and pickleball. I thought it was just like, it's a, a big different f- way to say it's Chick-fil-A big sandwich. fucking place. But, uh, I, I tend to like, uh, Christmas more than, any other holiday thanksgiving i like second but especially at chicken and pickle they like to throw like the early christmasy things uh, like a christmas pop-up at chicken and pickle where they decorate the entire upstairs like it's on a fucking mountain and it's just christmas lights and then you know that kind of thing so they dragged me to that where they have uh like special drinks like alcoholic beverages that look very festive and all that shit and uh i went but they had Home Alone 2 playing in the background. I don't remember a single conversation I had. I basically watched Home Alone 2 the entire time I was there. Uh, but it was still it was still fun to be with family and stuff like that. However, probably the highlight of my week, I've already posted it. I'm already getting shit talked, and I don't give a fuck. My snowboard is fucking here. Cool. And I know yeah. that nobody gives a shit. Nope. It's pretty awesome. Nobody gives a shit, and I, I get it. I get it. It's a thing that I like, and that's just just me. It's supposed to be white and bland. It's a ghost. That's what it is. If you don't know, just look it up. It's a fucking badass thing. That's all I'm going to say. I'm very happy it's here. 
I've already got uh, everything set up and everything's good to go on it. So I'm ready to go snowboarding in three fucking months. I got to wait and look at it. So well, and so do you. It's it's going to be hard to find if you lose it in the snow. <laughs> well, I don't normally crash, so I think I'll be fine. All right. Yeah. Knock on wood there, bud. Yeah, that's an right. air tag just to be safe. There you go. Yes. Uh, but anyways, that's really all my week. Uh, I guess I did watch it. I guess I did watch. Um, I caught caught up. Me and Jeremy really enjoy uh, uh, Oak Island. Uh, which is the biggest cock tease of a TV show on the face of the planet. Uh, ah, just like the Golden Bachelor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it is, uh, it's it's great to sit there and watch them kind of find things that you think are interesting, but it turns out it's absolutely nothing. And they, they've got like fucking 15 seasons of that. Dude, could you imagine how gross it would be if they did a Golden Bachelor in Paradise? <laughs> Oh, oh man just skin oh. everywhere <laughs> put it on hbo some old, yeah. older ladies are hot uh, yeah some of them uh the gal in ted lasso i don't know her real name uh but oh my god and she is definitely i think she's like 59 or 60 oh she's so nice. hot anyways uh yeah, that's about how old my wife is yeah Mike, you yeah. haven't been on the show in a very long time you've been gone what have you been up to where have you been uh, well, I can't stuff. cover the entire time I don't of my absence. I don't but expect it to. This last week was fun. I got to go to Seattle and host the semifinals of the Seattle International Stand-Up Comedy Competition. Nice. And it was one of the better times I've had in the last few years, actually. Like, nice. I don't... Well, when I started open mics way back in the year 2000, you could still smoke cigarettes inside the club. So me and oh, yeah. all my friends would just sit in the back of the club and watch the entire show and laugh our asses off. But then once you had to go outside to smoke, then I was like, all right, well, tell me when I'm about to go up because I ain't watching any of this shit. I'm going to because I like to smoke. I'm a smoker. So. Yeah. Anyway, so this was the first time I was forced to stand there and watch the entire show because I had to. I was hosting, so I had to go out there at, in between each comic, and uh, so I watched more comedy in the last week than I've watched in the last several years, and I just laughed my ass off all week long, and it was really fun. And uh, so I'm hosting. So I go up first. We were doing big theaters. I've got a I post a video yeah, on I saw Facebook. That. We were in front of like 900 people, sold out. Uh, but we did a different venue each night. I'm not going to get into all that. But so I had to go up and do like five or ten minutes up front, get the audience warmed up, and then I introduced the first five comedians, and then I went back out and uh, and did another couple minutes, and then we did an intermission, and then everybody came back in. So then I had to do like another ten or fifteen after intermission to warm the audience back up, then introduce all the other five comedians, and then I had to do another fifteen or twenty minutes while they were tallying the the scores and stuff from the judges. Oh, holy shit! And wow. then and then they would bring me out a little sheet of paper that said the top five for the night and i would announce them and everybody would clap and and that was the end of the show but uh it was just so much fun different uh same lineup all week long but different order every night so it's just a stressful ass experience for all of them for me it was great because i was just hanging out doing comedy i didn't give a fuck about judges yeah. or any yeah, of that you won that competition pretty back, much back in 2011 i did yeah, yeah. uh but anyway, so like... Oh, back uh, in Seattle? You want it back at an 11? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's fucking cool, dude. Heck yep. yeah. That's awesome. Yep, you gotta that's... Google this guy. He's nice. fucking awesome. Yeah, check me out. My name is Mike Baldwin. Uh, <laughs> Mikeisfunny.com. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, they do uh, this thing called the Tremendously Obvious Encore Point. So at the end of each comedian, I go back out on stage and I say their name. And based on the reaction of the crowd they can get an entire extra point, which is a ton. Like they're they're being scored from one to ten in seven different categories. And the way I explained it on stage was like, you know, like, yeah, the guy's really funny, but why was he standing weird like that? Like mm -hmm. it's that kind of shit. Because everybody's wow. funny. So they're very specific right. about like who's the best, you know? So I would do like I would make the audience be like, you know, like I I did. Let's pr pretend I just got done. You liked me, whatever. I wasn't your favorite, but whatever. Now let's hear that round of applause. And they're like, nah, you know. And and then I'm like, now I'm your favorite fucking thing you've ever seen in your whole life. I'm like, well, then good night. And everybody's just ah! <laughs> And so they practice for it. So when the first comedian comes up and they do fine, you know, yeah, it's really hard to go up first. Also in yeah. any competition, yeah, right. so. Yeah. The first comic would go up and do fine, and I would say, you know, give it up for so-and-so, and they would clap and a few woo here and there, but 
But then you could tell, like, once a comedian finally went up and just destroyed from beginning to end, like, they loved the shit out of them, the noise that they would make when I would say their name was just, I have goosebumps right now just talking about it because it was just That's amazing. Awesome. That's great. But, yeah, so just lots of, like, ah, oh, fuck, you got a, a 9, I got an 8.95, what the fuck? And, <laughs> like, that little stuff like that, and then a few people being mad here and there that, like, I yeah. should have got that encore point. And I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, so, anyway, it was. really just doing five-minute sets? Uh, no, this was the semifinals, so they were doing, uh, the, there's a four-minute window, so they had to do between oh, eight wow. and 12. Okay. They had a window? Uh, yes. Yeah, they wow. don't have that at, at uh, no. which is the funniest person watch talk. You're DQ'd. Well, uh, they're DQ'd, too. Well, actually, they just lose a point, which was basically DQ. It'll <laughs> it'll take you from first to ninth if you yeah. lose one point, yeah. which is why the encore point was so important, because it can take you from ninth to first if you're the wow. only one that gets it. Yeah. But uh but yeah like if you go over your time you lose points but then if you go under your time also mm -hmm. then then you lose points so that's why they do the window Whoa. yeah Jesus. but it's so much fun and this was just the semis so now uh, after that week five of them made it to the finals and that starts uh probably tonight or tomorrow or wow. something and uh yeah and the winner gets five grand and uh, Comedy's yeah. fucking great. That's man. awesome. Oh yeah, dude, it was so much fun. And the guy who runs the thing also runs the basically the same setup in San Francisco, which is called the San Francisco Stand Up Comedy Competition. And he already asked me to host the semifinals for next year because of how nice. good I did. Nice. At, at the oh, way yeah. to go, not, Mike. Not, awesome. not, not comedy wise, just how good I did <laughs> at giving and and not giving the encore point. He nice. was like, "That's what it's for. It's not for everybody. It's not a free point." Point. It's like it's it's something that you get if you fucking really deserve it. You know? Nice, nice. But so many of these comics, I'm gonna steal one guy's joke right now, and and if he gets mad, then whatever. But it's a good joke, and he said he's had it for a while. So uh, his name was Brent Lowry. Super funny. He made it to the finals, and I'll see if you guys laugh at this. Uh, the other day, <laughs> I was so high, I accidentally typed in my pen number on my microwave, and then. 12 minutes and 34 seconds later, <laughs> my debit card melted. <laughs> Is That's that awesome. not so I love that. perfectly it's so worded? Simple and perfect. <laughs> and it tells you like my my pen yeah, is one, two, three, is four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> but, but without saying it. Yep. Man, and every night that joke fucking hit and it was so fun. It's <laughs> awesome. That's fucking great. I think it's awesome, especially as somebody who doesn't write comedy. Uh huh. I'm the guy you're going after, and yeah, that's excellent. That's yeah, spectacular. And we we talk we because you know we get into the science of it because we're hanging out all week, all oh, of, yeah. all of us, and so it's like they the audience has to do work in their head, but it's such an easy connection <laughs> yeah. to make. Yeah. Yeah. But you can feel the pause, the like one quarter of a second yep. pause where yeah. you're like, wait, oh oh, <laughs> dude, it was just so great. I loved it. There were uh, some others, but I couldn't do him justice at all. Like he sure. was a, a stoner comic, so he kind of like perfectly like you. Yeah. Yes, and exactly. One hundred percent. That's awesome. Well, that's great, guys. I, ho I hope all of you guys had a great week. Um, but now we get to get on to the fun parts of the show. We get to have some headlines. Um, oh wait, first no. my, okay, go my, ahead. my special comes out on December. 8th. Yes. Oh shit! I'm so sorry. That's I'm sorry. Part, I forgot. Part of the main reason why I wanted you to come on the show is because your special is coming out so soon. It's yeah, coming yeah. out real quick. Well, it, it officially comes out on December 8th. We're actually releasing it on YouTube on December 7th at like 7.30. I don't know what time zone, but yeah. Uh, so we're doing, I'm going to do like a live chat along with it and stuff. And hopefully uh, you'll do a special live episode while it's playing <laughs> and, and get all of those people. And, and yeah, I don't know. Hopefully people watch it, man. I, I can't wait. I'm actually, because I, I, I unfortunately have not been able to go see you do stand up because anytime. Oh, that, you're not missing anything that's nah, it's fine. fine it's all <sighs> hacky bullshit no i, I, I see recorded the, it yes i i see <laughs> the video of it that you post snippets on your tiktok yeah, channel which great. is comedian mike there you go and i see the snippets of it but i think that I, I i want to be able to see you do an hour and and put it all together and i'm sure it's gonna be fucking awesome dude i sure hope so i think so uh but anyway so go check out Mike's special that comes out december the 7th at seven o'clock called what uh, number one top selling best comedy special ever. There you go. Happy to have you on the show. <laughs> hey, he's already explained why he called it that, and I think it's brilliant. 
Uh, but anyways, let's get on to the fun parts of the show. We've got some headlines to get through. I'm going to zoom through the sports uh, because if you can't figure it out, go to ESPN. That's what they're for, not what we're for. Uh, but the first thing I will say is obviously me being an anti Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Uh, I do kind of, um, I'm happy for them because they all, all of the Pittsburgh Steeler fans over the last uh, day have finally got what they have wanted for quite a while. And that is the offensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Matt Canada has been fired. No longer has a job. Are they all not, right. are they not good at offensive coordination? He's absolutely awful. And I understand why the Steelers fans hate him. And with me having two Steelers on my fantasy football team, I also agree with the term. What is he? Does he like run on fourth and 23 no, and that kind of shit? No, stuff like that. Clock management is probably a big deal. Personnel is probably a big deal that he sucks at. Um, just not a very good person. If you want to score a lot of points, which is pretty much why the Pittsburgh Steelers haven't been, even though they're winning games, they're not scoring a lot of points. Hmm. Everything that you just described tells me that he'll probably be hired by the Bears. With <laughs> this was a fucking possibility. I mean, so. I want him to just because he's a human and I want him to do well. You uh, know? Yeah. I, I'm sad that he got fired. I, I'm sure that he feels bad about it. I will put I it be, this way. I bet his wife doesn't respect him as much. Uh, that's for sure. Um, he, he was so he cheats on his wife. Yeah. All the time, so <clears throat> yeah. Then fuck him. Well, then yeah, yeah. fuck him. He man. was so bad at it, Mike, that they probably <laughs> shouldn't have had to fire him. He should have resigned. That's how bad he was. Yeah. Yeah. So Whoa. I feel like that he deserves it. Like if we were in China or something, I, or I, maybe Japan is more like that. Cause they're into like the stab yourself in the stomach thing. What's that called? <laughs> Sudoku. <laughs> sure. Uh, it's not, what? That's a, it's not what it's called. That's a game. Yeah. But, uh, uh -oh. it's close to that. Whatever the word is. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, th I think that would be a cool thing. Like nobody ever gets I was fired. Like, is they that just where they got the name. Of the <laughs> I was like, this doesn't make any sense. People just That's retire. How fucking stupid I am. <laughs> retire in disgrace. Yeah, they it, never get fired. They it's just really know. fucked. Up. I know what you're talking about. They don't just like stab themselves. No, they like like cut themselves in the abdomen and like pull out their entrails. It's yeah, that's uh Sepuku. Yeah, okay. a little dramatic. Sepuku. Yeah, something. cutting the Sepuku, belly. Yeah. Also yeah. called Harry Carey. <laughs> oh god. It fuck. really is. I believe it. Uh that's so, urban well, dictionary in deal. In China they put a net around the building that they build iPhones in because so many people try to commit suicide by jumping off of it. Yeah, out of Are shame. you reading yeah. ahead? No, that was in China. That's not whatever what are you uh, upcoming news oh, stories I know. may be. <laughs> we'll get there in a second, it's but it's just gonna related. It's fucking great. Oh, um, I wrote a joke about it. That's why I was bringing it uh, up. Oh, well, we can bring it up You're again like, here. I'm just second. trying to set up my <laughs> joke. You're <laughs> yeah, interrupting right? me yeah. and shit. <laughs> shit. Anyways, uh, moving on from that, uh, my Detroit Lions are 8-2 and two for the very first time since 1963. All right. I, I actually the saw... the Kennedy I, curse I, is wearing off. I saw <laughs> a more... Um, I don't know what you would call it, flavorful headline okay. the other day that said the Lions have not been doing this good. Uh, the last time that the Lions were doing this good, uh, black people were not able to walk into restaurants. <laughs> Holy shit. I was just like, Jesus, dude, what the fuck? The Lions are and like... Then, but I will say it did make me look up like when they were doing this good the last time. So it's like correlation is not causation. Yeah, it was wild. Well, I, was I like, think Holy that's why. Shit, how does somebody it's write that? It's fucking terrible. It was pretty bad. It is pretty bad. Uh, but I did have a question, especially Steve, you're more of a sports fan. I got a question for you and it has to do with this i still do not think that the lions have proved that they are a top uh you know top three team the lions in the, have been in a rebuilding phase for what the past four years 40 years no four years uh, like like seriously that. in the last four years, uh, since since uh, since uh dan campbell has what been is the yeah. rest of their schedule look like it has a couple of games on it that i i have marked they they played dallas uh coming up later in the season that if they that might go, actually be a good and they game. play at dallas if they go into dallas Ugh. and beat dallas I will say, holy shit! Yeah. Look out! There's, this is a Super Bowl and that's possibility odd to say too. I, I know. know, but it's they're a good defense. It's yeah. a it's an away game. The two teams that they've played, uh, by the way, uh, the Baltimore Ravens, they absolutely got shellacked by, who are now the number one team yeah, out of the that's AFC. True. That's, so that's not so, yeah, they, you mean, know, but they got shellacked. 
The other team that beat him were, were the uh, Seattle Seahawks, and that was actually at home. And Ugh. that was – it was kind that, of embarrassing. They sucks. should have yeah, won that, that game. Yeah, that one's not good. Yeah. Uh, if Gar- Jared Goff doesn't throw a fucking pick six later in that game, they do win that game. But Jared Goffel, right? Yeah, like Jared that's Goffel. Your, uh, that's your favorite quarterback yeah. ever. He's not, I don't hate him, but he just likes to make stupid mistakes. Um, and he almost well, we lost to the do. Bears. Uh, yeah, he, he threw I three know. interceptions. Yep. And so uh, it was just an yeah, ugly dude, game. If you're almost losing to the Bears, like, uh, I don't know. I think yeah. you feel like you got to really reflect. Yeah, I, I know. And I, and that's kind of the way I feel. But they ended up winning. A win is a win is a win. It doesn't matter. It's a win. Yeah. Uh, but my question is, now Detroit is, is currently sitting at the number two position for the NFC playoffs. So they are the number two seed. There is a lot of speculation about what's going on because everybody knows the number one team gets a bye in the first week of the playoffs. Number two seed team gets a home field advantage first round game of the playoffs. Really? The Detroit Lions have not won a playoff game since the 91-92 season. Wow. Okay? Okay. So that means if so. When was the last time we went to the Super Bowl? They never have been to a Super Bowl. Never once? No. Oh, wow. At least no. the Bears did that. Um, <clears throat> but here's the thing. Would you rather be the number one team, number one seeded team, and get a bye in the first week of the playoffs? Or would you want the number two team or number two seed and play the shittiest team in the playoffs and and end that curse for the 91-92 being the last year you've won oh, a playoff I think game. It'd be smartest to to want to be the number one team. To, really, to have that extra take rest. The bye, but still, yeah, I have mean, that extra rest. It like, could make it, you rest. That, that late, that's nah, why I don't like that, it. That late in the season, you've got guys with injuries. You've got I don't know. That, that's I don't know. After after last night, after the Monday night football game where you saw the the Philadelphia Eagles beat Kansas City <laughs> at Kansas City. <laughs> that was such a horrible game. It looked like oh, it was awful. I mean, the exposure of Patrick Mahomes and the wide receivers that I said I have said that weeks ago, it is very pertinent. They they were able to get the W and there was no I even got a text message from Derek in the middle of the night when I was already asleep saying I bet you there's a flag on this play that decides the game and it didn't happen. In fact, there was an intentional grounding call on Patrick Mahomes which they ended up bringing the ball back. Yeah. In yeah. that situation. So, I I really do think the best team out of the NFC is the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, I agree. Right? And so I am totally fine with a two seed because I want the curse to end. And the other thing is I would much rather be the team that has already played the first week of the playoffs and has got the butterflies out of their stomach. Yeah, that's true. And go in and play in the second week and then just start catching fire to get to go on a further. Yeah. You know, that's why the Chiefs lost on purpose last night. Yeah, exactly. Because they're now number two. They're doing too good. Yeah. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes needed to wash his underwear. Yeah. Uh, That was gross. That's grody. But isn't there. I'm sure someone has done the math. Has uh, uh, was Taylor. Swift at the game? Yes. Nope. She she was not at the game. Oh, I thought she was. She is on tour in Ecuador. Right. Yeah. See? Yeah. So I thought she was there. But she'll be in the playoffs. She'll be at uh, the playoffs. I mean, maybe, so we'll be maybe. fine. I'm not worried about the Chiefs. I, I, oh, there's my. a direct correlation between her attendance oh, and, Travis and Kelsey. Kelsey's ability. He needs a. He still caught a touchdown. He needs a bitch to show off in front of. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Uh, speaking of Travis Kelsey, though, his brother Jason Kelsey. I don't know if you guys saw this. Did you re- Did you see that he was in uh, People's Magazine's yes. Sexiest Men? Yeah. We got a shot at this point. That's what? true. That because is true. he has a gut. He, he has a big furry ass beard. Yeah, like, yeah. He he kind of looks like a pug. I, I love if he him was though. Shaved. It's I, weird. It's his person. <laughs> it's his personality. I mean, he's like a very lovable big dumb jock. Like that's what that's who he is. Yeah, like Mike. It, it, I mean, he's also he's probably ripped though too. Even though he's I, chubby, no, he's not. Uh, but you know that he could fucking oh, lift he's like a car fat, off strong. of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah he's got yeah, fat. He's true. got fat man yeah. strength. For so sure. like, if somebody yeah. comes up and shoves him, he's doing like what? Uh, uh, what's her fucking name? Uh, it doesn't matter. In in game when uh, Thanos <laughs> tries to head butter and she just stands completely still. <laughs> What's the, what's the character's I name? I hate Marvel. I don't oh, know. All right, whatever. Yeah, I watched Loki. It was good. Oh, well. season two. All right. It, it ended without any spoilers or anything. It ended in such a way that they could, in theory, completely write out Jonathan Majors from all of the 
upcoming stories. You know, my uh, he's, favorite he's part Kang of Kang in the new in the like next ten movies. That's the plan. Oh. It's for this one guy, the same guy who's going to court in like a week for slapping a bitch. Oh, that's too bad. My favorite part of that little thing back and forth there was there was somebody in their car yelling at their radio who that chick is the whole entire yeah, time. Yeah, it's like and we still haven't figured it out. It, she might have the name Marvel in her name, but Captain I Captain Marvel? No, it possible. Okay. Well, Captainess. If I no, that's that's who Captain Marvel is. It's a it's a flying around Superman looking chick. Oh. And 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 the only reason why I know that is from the previews of all of the other bullshit movies. And so, but Anyways, uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. I, you know what? I love Jason Kelsey, but I love his wife. His wife, Kylie, is... I haven't seen fuck, Oh, my God. She is like the epitome of a badass bitch, but she's very pretty. Mm-hmm. She's a good mom, but she has that like spunk to her. Like she's, she has an attitude, but she's also sweet. It's like the, it's like the plethora of, of awesomeness with this chick. And so I hope she oh. gets all the accolades in the world. But anyways, it is captain Marvel. Told you fuck. Her, her name is Carol Danvers. Oh, that's great. And Carol in real life. Fuck. Comic uh, book. Anyways. Okay. That's the sports. You want to go look up sports statistics and our opinions on the like college football bullshit. You can go do that on the, ESPN. Uh, I don't have a take on it. I did want to get to some things that we can actually have a little bit of fun with, and this is actual like things to talk about that are going on in the world today. And I have two very, very uh, current event minded people, and that's what I like. Um, and I actually picked these are actual factual things that I want your guys' take on. Okay. The first one absolutely cracks me up because it was what you were just talking about a little bit ago, Steve, but. There is now a suicide net that spans the entirety of the Golden Gate Bridge, and it is uh, is not quite complete, but it's very, very, very close to being done. The fucked up thing about this whole situation is uh, actually that it was uh, voted on in 2008. So if you do the math, it's taken that long to finally get this bitch done. Uh-huh. This bridge is 1.7 <laughs> miles long. They started to build this in 2018. Okay. So it took them 10 fucking years to vote on it and then finally to start building it. Yeah. That's how much bullshit that they had to get through. Okay. The anticipated cost for this bridge of nets and rod iron to have a frame for a net, uh-huh. the initial estimate was 142 million fucking dollars. Nice. Right? That's just the estimate. You know how yeah. much the fucking bridge is going to end up costing well, when it's all more. said and done? Well, well yeah. The 400 right. million fucking dollars for netting and rods. I have one thing to say to that. Welcome to California. Jesus Christ. That's, uh, I mean, all all government, no matter where it is, I understand. Is fucking inefficient, but this and everything is else, but this is where yeah, I think this is kind of crazy. I don't, I don't care what your political affiliation is. I don't give no. a shit. Like this, I said, it's every government project. This is, is the realization of of you. This is a fucking stupid thing. I want everybody who wants to jump off a bridge to be safe. And Steve and myself could put netting and steel rods together to keep people from jumping off this fucking bridge because that's what they do. That's well, why. I mean, they, there's a lot of people I that commit suicide off this motherfucker. I yeah. just love that if you're going to commit suicide on the Golden Gate Bridge, now you have to do it American Ninja style. <laughs> right. <laughs> you have to jump in the net and then crawl up and then flop over. That would be That's cool badass. if they made a, a, an actual show yeah. out of it. Like, dude, <laughs> yeah, somebody guy, might climb amazing. to the top and be like, I, fuck, I'm going to get on the ever. show. Oh, I can't he's do dead. this. He oh. died. God damn it. He died because he's so good at this. Yes. Yeah. Me and Steve could have put this motherfucker together in a year. 1.7 miles is a long time. I would have done it for 350 million. <laughs> yeah, and we would have so much goddamn profit. <laughs> but this is this is the stupidness wow, that it, that occurs. Awesome. I love it. I love the fact that they're going to keep people from jumping off the bridge and I'm happy that a lot of people will be deterred from doing from killing themselves Well, this they way. have a little while longer it sounds like to I keep mean, jumping. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that they're getting closer to the edge to where <laughs> it's it's, it's going to hurt a lot. Oh, rather than jumping into the ocean, now they're going <laughs> to land on the rocks and just splatter like a cupcake. <laughs> That's going to suck, yeah, dude. Yeah, sorry. That's going to be like uh, <laughs> the movie Canadian Bacon in the first scene when they're, they're trying to catch the suicide jumpers. Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. Oh, shit. But anyways, I saw that and I was like, oh, man, you guys would love the fuck out of that. 
Uh, but I, it, it's it, but it makes me think of the the China uh, Apple yes, building. That's no, it's, yeah, that's a real thing, dude. How fucking depressing is that? You go up to, to, to kill yourself, and here comes your boss, like Ching Chong, Bing Bong, get the fuck back to work. Whatever the fuck they say, that's exactly Just how they fishing say. you out of the fucking net with like a dog catcher net. But the point is the same like, in, in, in both situations. Like these. What Apple should do, or whatever company it is that has those, they should make the work environment exactly, such that yes. people don't want to kill themselves. Exactly. But instead, they think that it's cheaper yep. to just physically prevent them. And the same is true with the Golden Gate Bridge. Like People wouldn't want to kill themselves if California wasn't so <laughs> shitty to live in. <laughs> if it didn't suck. I have lived in California, and I love it. See? But if you're a homeless person or you've got some mental illness, yeah, that would not be good. Yeah. Like, that would not be good at all. Yeah, anyway. I don't know. I, mm. I think we should have a, a place, like, that you can just go to. The ideal one, I guess, would be, like, a an enclosed sort of an elevator kind of situation. And when you push the button, it's just fire from every direction kill you immediately i mean pretty much immediately sure you know there's yeah. no getting out of it so once you push the button it's over but people should have the right and uh you know plus it'd make everything a lot better for everybody else because it, yeah. it, it'd make inflation go down oh shit <laughs> <laughs> definitely opened up some fucking traffic lanes yeah right um, I mean, it's like if we have to pick a group to eliminate, why don't we start with the people that don't even want to fucking play the game? That's you know? true. That is true. And like, then from right, there, then we can focus on. Yeah. All right. This went a little bit Israel darker Palestine than I wanted party. to go, oh, but yeah. all right, whatever. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> yeah. We're just solving vote, problems. Vote for me. I'll let <laughs> you fucking me. off yourself if you want. <laughs> it won't be illegal. Oh, shit. All right. That was the first one. This, this is the next one, and I think you guys will enjoy this very, very much. This is an actual email that I... Okay, I don't want to say it's actual email because I haven't vetted it 100%, mm -hmm. but I know this went viral on social media. Oh, you I, could work for CNN? I hope this is fucking true. No, because I'm admitting that it's not. I'm, oh, yeah, 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 that's no, true. You're fine. Never mind. So, uh, but I hope this is real, but it just it made me fucking laugh. It made my wife laugh. But this is, uh, I'm assuming, is a real email, and it is from a professor or teacher and uh his name is patrick wilson uh but his email sent he sent to all of his students uh was this he says hello all unfortunately i have to reschedule the exam and i will have to cancel class on thursday against my wishes i have been shot and i am being treated in the emergency room i also have covid and the divorce is getting messy <laughs> Bad week. <laughs> Who shot this guy? <laughs> was it wife, his ex-wife? Trust me, I'm married to oh, one. Oh, Jesus. And then he just continues to say, office hours are still 11 to 12 on Monday and Wednesday with your teacher's assistance. If I am alive, the exam will be moved to Monday of next week. Keep reviewing the text and remember to look over your ID. Sincerely, Professor Wilson. This is a weird way for me to find out that I'm a <laughs> professor named Patrick Wilson. <laughs> It's a weird way really for you to seems find like out something that, that you don't have to go to, to class me. tomorrow. Fuck, yeah. What a yeah. bad week for a fella, you uh, know? He could have been kidding, or he could have just been one of those fun teachers, or Dude, it could be he completely might've... fucking fake. He oh, was like, I'm going to drink man. this bottle of wine and grade these papers tonight. <laughs> and then he's like, shit, I'm drunk. I don't want to go to class tomorrow. And then he came up with this. I, <laughs> I could only That's imagine awesome. like my college professor uh, sending me this email and not knowing what's going on in this man's life at all oh yeah he sounds fun <laughs> like for sure i would love to hang out with that guy this dude is getting and, he's and getting he's a definitely drip. gonna visit a suicide net here before <laughs> too long for sure he's he's the guy they're putting the nets around shit this for is, this is the dude you don't give a computer so he can send out an email email whenever he's getting a drip of morphine yeah like this is yep. what it looks like is happening but, yeah, that's a that's a long uh, week. man. That's a that's a way to tell your students that you're going through a rough time. But I'm glad he did it because now we get a laugh about it, and I hope he's doing well in whatever hospital bed that he is in. 
Anyways, now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. Uh, we're mm-hmm. going to kick this bad boy off with Never Have I Ever. Ever, uh, ever, Monday ever. Fun Day is, was a success uh, again. Thank you guys for participating. We've got some, uh, some uh, pretty much almost all of your guys' uh, suggestions are in these. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's kick this thing off. What the let's fuck? Let's just go ahead do and do it. it. Never let's Have I it. Ever, the very first one. I did have I did have to modify this one a oh. little bit, um, because we get the original version. The or? original version was something that we've already done before, but it just gave uh, me an, an idea, so I modified it enough to where I still want to give the guy credit, okay. even though we've already done it before. Dev Dev. Yeah, this is Dev Dev forty seven from Instagram. He wants to know: Never have I ever taken a shit in anything other than a toilet. So, oh, yeah, so we drink if we have. No, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. You got to tell what if you, you have. Did. You have to make out with Scott. No, you it's don't. Uh, he came up with this in game. the closet for seven <laughs> minutes. No. Yep. Yeah, I've shit in a field. I know that for sure. I, no. wiped, I wiped my ass with a sock at a party once, and then drunkenly like pulled my pant leg up all night long to be like, I only got one sock because I wiped my ass with the <laughs> other one. And everybody's like, All right, Baldwin. <laughs> Have fun, buddy. Uh, I have a feeling that's when you were drinking. Yes, it was, as a matter of fact. I don't think I've shit on purpose anywhere else. I shit a little bit on, like, my kitchen floor once when I was (laughs) probably in my mid-20s. And it was just, uh, you know, like, my coffee will be done in 10, 9, and I'm dancing. Like, come on, hurry. And then, yeah, just, you know, nature happened. And I was like, son of a bitch. I'll clean that up when I'm done. And then I ran into the bathroom without my coffee, and it was just a terrible morning all around. That is fucking insanity. <laughs> yeah, it was the I'm, dancing shit. It's one of those. Well, it. it's it's not a fun dance. It's a nervous hop back and forth. Come on, you fucking coffee. Uh. Oh, all right. Yeah, I wasn't like, woo, I'm making coffee. No, I thought yeah. you were so excited. You shit on the floor like a cocker spaniel. No, it was the, <laughs> that's awesome. It was the I have to shit, hurry the fuck up, coffee maker, and oh, make my it's coffee. Just, it's just like assume the position after mid dance. I would that's just a, put my coffee maker in the back. <laughs> bathroom yeah. from now on. just unplug it and take it in there with you <laughs> that's i mean see that's those kind of genius ideas that i wish i had thought of at the time but. i guess not uh no i i i can honestly i mean on purpose absolutely not i've never i've never done that i think and it's cheap but i i think that i've had to like shit so bad going camping to where there isn't a bathroom mm-hmm. to where i had to lean up against a tree and that was extremely like terrible i, I mean you know you don't want to stumble upon that from other people, so I had to like walk a mile away from the campsite. Oh, I would have just Ugh. gone to the other side of a tree, right? No, the, the closest no. tree to the campsite. Oh, no, nobody you, come over here. The wind changes, and, the, and then it, the whole campsite smells like shit. The tree's thinner than my body, so you just see <laughs> basically everything. With a, it's a sapling. Uh-huh. It basically, barely covers I your. I found butt a crack. tree. <laughs> I uh, yeah. I mean, I've shit in a lot of weird things. <laughs> you went, uh, you were in like Iraq and yeah, shit, though, right? Yeah, so you've shit yes. in just straight up holes. Yeah, yeah, and MRE bags, and uh, we had to dig holes to shit in. And then also, they kind of like made toilets. But they weren't really toilets. It was just like this wood thing that you just hung your ass over, and then we would have to burn the shit every day with diesel fuel. Was, Ooh. Uh, yeah, it was a little strange. Yeah. It's a smell uh, you'll never yeah. forget. Yeah. It's like the uh, guys coming back from Vietnam when their friends like were oh. burned by napalm had- and shit. And you're like, <laughs> I know the feeling, brother. We had we had porta potties, but it was like 130, 140 degrees in the porta potty. That was hard to jack off in <laughs> for sure. It was done. I'm not a not fucking impossible. Quitter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've done it. And then there was uh, many times there was a saying in the middle and on the front of all of them. And the first time I was ever in a porta potty in Iraq, uh, it says, "Remember, ladies, you're one plane right away from being ugly again." <laughs> I was like, "Well, that's fucking mean." And then about six months later, I was like, "That is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life." <laughs> and then I went home and I looked at her on Facebook and I was like, "Oh God, what the fuck is that thing?" God damn it! Was, uh, so that's a, pretty true. I had a similar thing the other night. We had to on one of the nights of the competition. We went to an island. Uh, there's all these islands around Seattle, so we had to drive our car onto a ferry. Mm-hmm. And then and then wait. It's like JP a, was there. It's like a multi hour process. The the pulling up, you wait in your yeah. car before yeah, you get I on and New then York. Yeah. so anyway, so we're on that thing and uh 
and I'm smoking a cigarette outside, and this girl just appears f- from like five cars back, and nobody's going anywhere for an hour, so everybody's out of their cars doing yeah, whatever, and, yeah, and yeah. she just like shows up, and it was kind of raining, and it was like midnight, so it was dark, and and me and the other comedians are standing around and stuff, and we're all just like, dude, she's fucking cute, you know, and so then we get we pull on to the actual ferry and we go inside under the fluorescent lights and shit and we all just kind of slowly we're like all right well back to the car and then the next day we were just like yeah those lights ruined that (laughs) that was unfortunate she should have stayed in the rainy dark (laughs) ah anyway god i hope she's not listening i hope she's not friends with miranda or whoever you said what was the girl's name i don't want to say it again (laughs) can we just say it's miranda now I feel bad. <laughs> don't, don't it. It they need to hear this. This is honesty podcast. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe uh, okay. anyway. All Anyways, right. What do we got next? Next, bud? next one. Never have I ever. This comes in from Facebook. This is from John Waltman. Hell yeah, John Waltman. Uh, Can we give him a? Oh my hey, god! Please don't push like his that. fucking button. Yeah, I just thought that have was some nice. respect. Yeah. John Walton, he wants to know, never have I ever ruined <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner by cooking, saying something you shouldn't have, or getting too drunk. Well, I've done all three. <laughs> Why am I not I know fucking you didn't surprised? Do it yeah, last what Thanksgiving. The fuck? Whatever, no, I whatever didn't turkey do it. I came and had yeah, at your place that's last true. year was the fucking best. Pretty good. I believe Steve is going to cook. I thought this was... Like what? How do you ruin Thanksgiving by saying something? Oh no, we'll get to that. Oh, I can think of some things. Oh, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. Oh yeah. Okay. There Uh, we go. No, I don't think I've ever seen the closest. uh, My sister had a boyfriend. My sisters were five years old and eight years old when I was born. So whatever distance that is, Mm -hmm. they were probably in high school, and I'm whatever (laughs) age that is. And a sister had a boyfriend, and we were playing. my other, my oldest sister was married at the time, so it's her, her husband, my sister, her boyfriend, and me, and my mom and dad all sitting around. I think we were playing Monopoly, so you can see where the story's going. Oh, yeah. oh hell yeah. But, I mean, we were always just like, oh, doggone it, I lost. And he was like, fuck! Like, <laughs> jumping up and, like, walking around the kitchen, and we were all just, like, looking at each other, like, this is not how you react, you know? So that was my first taste of Goddamn that. Goddamn Monopoly. Uh, no, no, I have never, I've never, my, I've, I've got a pretty solid family. Yeah. Uh, like my family. Now, if I go over to my in-laws, I have to shut the fuck up. I can't, I, no, I have never, I, when I'm around my family, family, I don't ever drink too much. I don't say anything weird. Yeah. I, we just talk about memories of when we were younger and stuff like that. I know it sounds boring, but no, I've never do you still it. drink on occasion or do you just, very, it's all uh, very, I mean, rarely, but yes, I do. I, I mean, I've, I've been I, cutting I, it back a lot. It's re- it's really good for you, man. I, I mean, if you, if you have like a glass of wine every once in a while, it's not good for my happiness, but yeah. I guess it's good for my body. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I, I mean, every once in a while, I'll still I'll still have a beer or two or something like that. But very, I mean, it's mm. it's not like it's not what it used to be, and that, and that's kind of why I want it to be. So. Saturday uh, all week last week, I didn't have any beers, and I was like, I'm only going to drink the weekend, and I drank 14 beers on Saturday, <laughs> and then had mimosas all day Sunday. <laughs> but I haven't drank again this week. Yeah, like, I'm feeling <laughs> good for my body. <laughs> I've got two days in. <laughs> well, I used to drink every single day, pretty mm-hmm. much. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah gotta fucking everybody's on this out. health kick. We gotta keep on. Yeah. I'm on a health kick. Nobody yeah. can you tell I'm skinnier yeah, than yeah. I once was. Yeah. I'm Your down penis there. is bigger. I'm below. It's hangy. It's, <laughs> it's more hangy now. I'm like hell yeah, get them skinny balls again. Woo. Oh yeah. Uh, no, I'm below 200 for the first time since like I don't know 2018 or Good something. That's awesome. awesome. Good for you, buddy. Yeah. Did you do the couch to 5K thing again? Nope, not yet. I've just been doing low carb, and Thanksgiving nice. is my first uh, cheat, cheat day. day. Yeah. Oh, that'll be cool. So yeah. I'm excited. Excited to eat like shit all day. Yeah. Nice. Uh, we all answered that one, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this, this chair is next, squeaky. I know it's well, quit it, moving. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, next one. Never have I ever. This comes from uh, Frankie Ward from Facebook. He wants to know. Never have I ever. Uh, been hunt. I'm sorry. That was so bad. I didn't even cut that out. Uh, he wants to know. Never have I ever been hunting. Well, I just said that earlier. Uh, I, yeah. I would have given you applause, Frankie, but I'm not allowed to touch. 
Yep. No, it's fine. Take take that away. I will stab your hand. I feel like all the people applause. need just a little applause for making this well, suggestion. You know, well, we give them applause. Thanks, Frankie. Yeah. I have not ever been hunting uh, other than as with a BB gun as a kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And have I told the bird story? No. On this? It's a short story. We had a BB gun, but it was like not one of the air cartridge things. It was just oh, like a pump, a pump. No, it was you pull it back once. Oh, and oh then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the <clears throat> physical inertia of just the metal piece going forward is what shot the BB out. So yeah. it was not enough to kill a bird. It was enough to knock one off of a tree limb and make it fall to the ground. And then I shot it in its head, point blank Holy range, shit. to put it what to put psycho. it out of its misery because I yeah. felt bad because it was flopping around and the thing just bounced off of his head. Like, point blank. I shot this thing like nine times, and it was still like, rah! We finally just threw a big, <laughs> dropped a cinder block on Jesus it. Jesus Christ! We just felt bad, because it wasn't getting out Holy of there, you know? shit! So, yeah, that was traumatic, and it made me not want to hunt anymore. Oh, God. Serial killers like to torture animals. I didn't like it. <laughs> so, I'm the exact opposite of a... I blame my neighbor for being like, shoot the bird. I uh, I don't hunt. I fish. I love to fish. I love deep sea fishing. There you go. Um, I, I really deep do. Deep sea fishing. Right? Uh, well, deep sea fishing and fucking snowboarding in Kansas. <laughs> hey, did that should tell you something. I like to leave Kansas and go do fun shit elsewhere. That's true. Uh, but no, I, I love to fish. Uh, hunting, on the other hand, though, I don't like it as much, especially deer. Um, I, I'm very... I, I had a greyhound when I was a kid, and greyhounds kind of look like deer but then every single time we go up to the mountains there are there are deer everywhere and they're always so friendly and, and you're so like are these greyhounds no <laughs> no when i was a kid i had a greyhound i thought he looked like a deer um uh, fuck you <laughs> god damn it uh, no i I'll, think i just hit a greyhound <laughs> <laughs> But it had like a horn hat on or something. <laughs> a fucking jackass. <laughs> Holy shit. That's awesome. Okay, a full size greyhound, not I, I an can Italian. See the kid. Like the I, ones at the racetrack that are huge, that's what I had. And he was he was tan, so he looked like one without horns. Deer chase <laughs> rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they do deer <laughs> racing? <laughs> they should. Well, because they don't want to chase a fucking rabbit. That's true. They just chase so, greyhounds. They, I don't think deer chase anything. No, probably, but no. they could get something behind it to chase them. <laughs> yeah, they could. To make them want to run. <laughs> yeah. Get a redneck and a fucking four-wheel Holy drive with KC headlights on it. I think we might have just thought of something. <laughs> we might yeah. have. Hunters, instead of killing this year, we want to just wound enough that you can catch it. And take it back Shoot to them our, in the foot. Take it back to our training <laughs> facility where they're gonna learn how to run in a circle. There you go. But no, I don't go hunt. When he was a little kid, he's like, Mom, look at all those greyhounds <laughs> pulling Santa's sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they're so fast, oh, Steve. Fuck, that's, that's how great, they fly. Dude, I love that. That's, uh, that's <laughs> Sorry. Rudolph the red nose. <laughs> Greyhound. <laughs> Greyhound. <laughs> 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 so stupid, <laughs> but but it's true. That's what mm. I thought when I was a kid. So I That's don't awesome. I don't shoot deer. I still like see a lot of deer whenever we we go up to the mountains. So I yeah. think they're cute. I don't want to kill them. There you go. But Steve, on the other hand, I have a feeling likes to hunt animals. Animals. Uh, All animals. Yeah. Okay. It's different when the when the when the people you're hunting are shooting back. <laughs> yes. But it's uh, those deer's yeah. are talented. I don't. I shoot uh, just for meat. So yeah. like I don't like I don't hunt for like to put a thing on the wall or whatever. Sure, it's sure, just, sure, sure. Uh, we usually get two doe tags and then um, try and get at least one, and then that is it takes quite a while for all of that. Yeah, the bow yeah. or rifle. Rifle. Yeah, you rifle. bitch. Yeah, I don't. Uh, <clears throat> Does, I don't is know. the is I, the I used to bow hunt when yeah. I was a kid. Is so the size of the antler of the deer in direct correlation with the size of the deer's penis? I don't know because I don't ever shoot deers with antlers. The the meat doesn't taste 
like as good. It's kind of gamey and shit like that. So chicks then, taste so better just, than dudes. Yeah, is that exactly. what you're saying? Yeah. Well, I, I think, think it would JP be cool would to agree, uh, not cool, but like weird cool to walk into a hunter's house and just see deer cocks like on the wall, <laughs> <laughs> like instead of the antlers, you know, and just like look yeah. at that one right there. It's see a four the, incher. <laughs> no, it's a. Uh, it's, <laughs> I mistake this deer, and it was actually a greyhound, but he had a huge cock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's I don't know. It's it's kind of a almost a religious experience type yeah. thing. It's just a, something that's not taken for granted. And Did you cry? Stuff. No, no. But I think I would. Kind of a, that's why I don't want to go hunting with wanna, anybody. I just I don't want to I don't want to shoot anything or kill. I mean, you eat hamburgers every day without even thinking about how those things are slaughtered. Yeah, but I don't want to meet the fucking everything. cow. But yeah, so this is a little different, and it's it is so much better for you as well. There's so many more nutrients. There's so many, you know, it's just less preservatives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just I don't know. It's, yeah, yeah. I get it. I well, get if it. you do get deer meat, I want some. Well, okay. And then I used to uh, I was still pheasant hunt because uh, you can shoot up, those motherfuckers well, all day long. They're annoying. Yeah, growing up I couldn't eat. Chicken so I would pheasant hunt and I can eat pheasants. Pheasants are annoying yeah. little bastards. You yeah. can shoot them all yeah. day long. Well, I, you know what? I just can't hunt fucking deer. I can hunt everything else but not deer. Yeah. And coyotes. My, I, I, I've never been duck hunting or like goose hunting. I know. They're pretty. So. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, next one, Never Have I Ever. This comes in from Facebook. This is Jacob Paul Hazen. He wants to know, Never <laughs> Have I Ever stepped in the shower and forgot to take a piece of clothing off. I've absolutely stepped into the shower with my socks. Why am socks. I not shot yeah, with I my socks say, I've done that before. with my socks before, yeah. I don't I, own underwear, so it wouldn't be that. I thought something smelled weird. Yeah. It's that... It's that free ball and smell. <laughs> now, I've uh, not, I guess this isn't clothing, but I've gotten into the shower with my uh, headphones in my ears. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah that, times, I've done so. that before. I don't yeah. think that's that crazy. But like, it stepping, is if you want to get your e ears clean. Uh, sure. Uh, but, but I mean, I that's, want to. That's totally, I think that's totally normal. <laughs> but stepping into the fucking shower with your socks on, I mean, that happened. I didn't do it on purpose. Well, oh my God. That's I, just, I mean, that's the only time I take my fucking socks off is whenever I go I, and take a shower. I guess I, I do have <sighs> faint memories of just being trashed and turning the shower on. Yeah. And then thinking, like, sometimes you think, like, I'm going to save time doing this thing. <laughs> So I'm like, I'll get in the shower dressed, and then I'll undress in the Washing shower. Washing my clothes, too. But then everything's just stuck to me, and it's hard to, like, and I'm drunk. I'm like, ah, oh, this is a mistake. I did the same thing when I was a kid. I My mom made me wear jeans to school because it was, like, 50 degrees, but it was yeah. going to be, like, 70 that day. Yeah. But, so I, that. I got home from school, and I wanted to play with my friends, and I had to run inside to change into shorts. And so I, in my mind, I was like, it'll be so much quicker if I just keep my shoes on and oh, take, your pants <laughs> take my jeans yeah, off and put my shorts on yep, over it and yep. I cut to me just crying on my bedroom floor like <laughs> screaming for my mom to help i'm stuck in my oh no oh that's good shit i like that uh but no i never have uh let's well see. you're perfect uh, no i'm not i mean <laughs> like i've worn a hat in the shower but i did it on purpose because that's how you form like uh not not fitted hats yeah. but uh -huh. the other hats that's how you get them uh, interesting yeah it is and, I didn't know that. Uh, now I kind of want to. Show yeah, not yeah. not like the new, on. not like the new era, like uh, like new era fifty nine fifty hats, but the ones that kind of look like they're worn out. The new mm. era hats. It, yeah, if you wear those into a shower and and clean it up and stuff like that, it, it helps it form to your head. The only hat I've worn <clears> in the <throat> last twenty years said the word hat on it. That's perfect. That's probably the kind of hats that you can take into the shower. That was, that was my hat that I sold yeah. uh, after comedy shows. All right. Last one. Never have I ever. Uh, again, this is modified from uh, Facebook. This comes in from Chase Golden. Uh, Chase he, Golden! He wants to know, never have I ever thought my relative was hot. Hmm. Never. Never? How about a step? So. I don't have any steps. Damn it. My friends used to tell me, either. they never actually said, your sisters are hot. They would just say, God, I want to fuck your sister. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know uh, about that, but I do know, like, I... Well, let's see pictures of your sister. <laughs> yeah, we'll make, we'll be yeah, the we'll judge of that. It. You guys would agree. That, that is, uh, <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't think I've ever had, like, a hot relative. Like a hot no. cousin? 
Oh, wow. I won't I even click so. on porn if it slightly resembles. Sometimes a woman will smile and I'll be like, that looks like my Aunt Judy. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not clicking on this bitch. Because I, I don't want to have it accidentally happen. It, right. it was obviously not with May you, she rest you two guys, but like uh, we did a porn episode one time, like an episode talking about uh, porn. Uh-huh. And uh, like one of, uh, the, one of the biggest fetishes nation why Step in the United States porn. is stepsister porn. Oh, stepsister. Like stepsister okay. or, or you know, some kind of form of relative or whatever. Like, oh, my mom caught me jerking off and it turns mm-hmm. into a lesbian scene, which is fucking psycho. It's a little different. But, yeah. but it's like, that's what people go after. And I'm like, that is such a g- gross thing. I don't think, it's I different. think it's reversed. It's I think weird. that's just what people... I don't think it's that people like seeing step siblings fuck each other. I think it's that they don't care who's fucking each other. <laughs> oh, was yeah. that what it is? And yeah. the porn companies are just like, put out whatever, stepsister <laughs> shit. It's the, it's the yeah. same as like the plumber comes over to fix the pipes or whatever. Yeah. I'm not, that doesn't make me want to fuck a plumber. Yeah. Like it's just like, yeah, I don't care what their occupations are. Sure. Just let them start fucking. I get, no, I, th- like it turns me off though when they straight up talk about it during the sex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, I can't believe I'm fucking my stepbrother. And I'm like, all right, don't say that. Like, stop it. As a carpenter, I, I do care. <laughs> you I do care porn. what the profession is. I mean, I need to fuck plumbers, <laughs> dude. Plumbers are dicks. <laughs> Electricians. Electricians never get fucked in porn. Yeah, <laughs> ever. that's true. Gay porn, I've never watched that. It's probably That's probably where the electricians are getting <laughs> fucked at, I would assume, would be yeah. gay porn. Yep, that's Definitely. smart. Oh, shit. They zip tie their dick. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, that is never have I ever for this week. Uh, Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. All right. Yippee, yippee. All right. Uh, No intro music for that one either. Nope. All right. Nope. Uh, We're going to get right into it. Uh, That's where I draw the line. First one comes in from Facebook. This is Jeremy Robbins. Jeremy Robbins. Yeah, I like this one. Uh, Jeremy wants to know. How many times should you try to give a suggestion to the show before you should just stop because your suggestions just aren't very good? I uh, feel like Jeremy Robbins was kind of being a dick back then. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just you don't ever stop, and and eventually one might, and maybe one never will. It well, here's matter. what you do: is you make the suggestions more fucked up every single time. I d- and and the thing is is um, all the suggestions normally run through me first. Every once in a while I'll get a message from somebody like, you know, JP or or Steve or whoever mm-hmm. and they'll say, "Hey, I like that one." Yeah. And it's something Yeah, there has been some weird shit that you've cut out that was actually really good. I, I know. I know. But I mean, I get some feedback, but the other thing is is like there are so many suggestions that are already the exact same. This makes me wonder joke. how many times Jeremy Robbins has had an amazing suggestion. You were like, no, yeah, fuck <laughs> that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Who? I bet he's had <laughs> the guy who suggested the thing. I'm I kidding. bet he's had great suggestions. Keep fucking suggesting. No, you always if it's a oh, new absolutely. if, it, if yeah. it's a new thing, keep sending Never it in. Stop. I, I, but, but even like, if it's not, the comment is good for the absolutely. overall. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. But I mean, eventually, yes. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna nail fucking you're gonna nail something. I feel like he just got on. He did. It's amazing how that shit works. But well, I think you should always. You should never give up. If I you think get, we should start a segment with Jeremy Robbins. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I'd be sure. I mean, kind of weird. Um, but yeah, I, I always think you should always post whatever you want to post uh, unless we've already done it before. That's the only thing. But it's lo- the same premise. I don't, I, it's, it's kind of, of tough. course, a lot of it just has to do with mood too. You know, sometimes oh, yeah. one week you're like, no, that doesn't fit in with what we're talking about. And other yeah. times you're like, oh my God, that's the perfect fucking question. Absolutely. And so, it, and it yeah. depends on who's here too. Right. Yeah. So if you think of something, mm-hmm. then yeah, send it in, man. Absolutely. It's, you're not I agree. hurting anything. I agree. Uh, next one comes in from uh, Short Stack Goodnight. She uh, sounds hot. <laughs> yeah, I don't oh, really. Well, not. Let's hear the question now, and uh, then I'll change my opinion. Yeah. Uh, Maybe where do you draw- they work at the Waffle House. Yeah. Uh, th- where do you draw the line? Uh, what? Uh, I, I wrote this wrong. But what should be the weight limit for women who wear yoga pants? Mm. I don't Ooh. think it's, I don't think weight is the thing. I think uh, hmm. what is it called? Like body fat 
I feel like if you have to use a motorized cart at Walmart, <laughs> we should probably leave the yoga pants. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. But that goes the other way, too, because I posted a chick doing yoga on my Facebook the other and day. And people were like, she's too skinny. Dude, she was so fucking skinny. And it, it was like hot skinny. It was strange. No. I liked it. Here's, really? Here's the problem. Sh- your ass looked like part of a skeleton. Yeah. Oh, it was so kind of weird. strange. Oh, yeah. so weird. bad. That skeleton Very on me, baby. The other it was pro- like loose-fitting yoga pants. Yeah. That's how skinny she well, was. Well, that's what I was going to say. Is like the, you remember like the windbreaker pants from the 90s? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Like the problem is, is is whenever people that try to that are so fat that have to wall, ride the Walmart scooters around, those, those 90s windbreaker pants turn into fucking yoga pants because they just get fucking stretched out. That's possible. Yeah, so, but the sound you get from those is fucking <laughs> awesome. Like the whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah, that, that, you're right. That is That's totally awesome. good. My yeah. friend uh, Jesse Turney posted a thing. It was I don't think he made it. It was just a meme, but it said uh, it showed sweatpants, and it said, I can't wear these. And then the next window was be- because of this, and it just showed a little uh, like a shrimp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and then I commented like, "Yeah, I can only wear my Lululemon pants with a long shirt or a full-on boner." <laughs> Either way, it just looks wrong without one of those two yeah. things. I agree. I also don't think it has anything to do with your weight. Uh, there are definitely girls that weigh over, you know, two hundred pounds that look good. Oh, yoga, I like the pants. curvier girls. I, I know. Yeah, yeah, two hundred fifty pounds even. There are girls yeah, that, like that look the, good. I like the curvier. Girls. It's. I think the main target towards the question at least for me are the people that you just obviously shouldn't yeah if that makes sense like when the yoga pants aren't covering jack diddly shit when your fucking fupa is shooting out of that thing and your camel toe is just screaming at that that's the problem with america today dude (laughs) like it's it's the same thing with girls showing their midriff you know oh yeah there's a big difference between showing your midriff and letting your fucking gut hang out (laughs) (laughs) And so many girls nowadays are just like, I'm showing off my midriff. And it's like, no, you're fucking not, dude. You're letting your belly hang out. That's like, like Lizzo. She shows off her midriff. She doesn't much it's anymore. Not ex- <laughs> it's not excusable because she's the only fat chick without big titties. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Only one in the world. That's yep. it. That's she's weird. it. Everybody loved her, though, until she started having chicks eat. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> then she did the, of vaginas. She did the forced fucking. Yeah, that was great. The forced. <laughs> I was like, have dude, fun at this I have club never applied at. to be a dancer my entire life as I did that many times when I <laughs> fucking heard that story. <laughs> I was like, I'll do it for free. <laughs> I'm a backup dancer for Lizzo now. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. All right. Next one. This comes in from Instagram. Uh, this is from Sarah Jean Clements. Mm-hmm. She sounds hot. Yeah, yeah she maybe. Does. Could she be. Super hot. Uh, she wants to know number of. Uh, I'm sorry. Where do you draw the line? Number of times you have to repeat yourself before you should just stop saying it. Is she related to Jeremy Robbins? <laughs> <laughs> They're both Something. just sitting next to each other. No, yeah. say the same thing, but like different. <laughs> uh, no, but that reminds me of the classic Mitch Hedberg joke where he was like, uh, I said something to my friend and he said, what? And so I said it again. And then he said, what again? And now I'm just yelling. That tree is far away. <laughs> But yeah, I am, I'm a little hard of hearing sometimes. Yeah, sure. I, I yeah. think it depends on which angle I'm my ears pointing, you know. But yeah, yeah I, I mishear people all the time, and and I don't I don't know. I try to not let it. Sure. Like, if it's important, I'll. Be I was like, gonna say me, it depends on the it level of time. importance. After three, then you have to add something else other yeah. than just what you yeah. got to be like. Listen, man, I'm having a really tar- hard time hearing you. Can you? Write it down. Can yeah. you enunciate? Oh, yeah. yeah. Something tells me this is either a wife or a girlfriend that is trying to put her boyfriend or husband on blast right now. Well, I yeah. don't think I don't think <laughs> stopping saying it is the yeah. an answer. I think talk to somebody who gives a fuck what you're saying. <laughs> that there you go. Enough that, <laughs> that that's, or just figure out a new way of communication. Because I think that you just told just, her to get divorced and go <laughs> no. find somebody that cares. Well, that's because I think she's probably hot. So I, I just want is. her to be single. No, so and that's can, the thing. I totally I'll listen look to her you, up baby. On Facebook. I, I'm I with I'm with Mike. If you're telling me something important, but if you have to tell me four times, Jesus, Scotty, for the love of God, did you see who won Golden Bachelor? I'm gonna be like, I don't give a fuck. Like that's my deal. It's an old chick. 
<laughs> it is. It is definitely an old chick. But yeah, that, that's that's where I draw the line. If it's really important, make sure that person hears it. But if it's if you have to contemplate whether or not it's important to me or anything related to what I'm interested in, yeah, you just just stop. Fucking husband and wife uh, happily wait together. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, wait a second. We are fucking murking on you during this episode. Well, you wrote in a question. Dude, we she want to know. has a fucking banging body. Okay, well, good. That's weird. Holy cow. So, dude, start listening to her. Yeah, what? Yeah. Quit being a dick. Pay attention, man. <clears throat> That's the answer. Stay Why attention. Didn't say she's to, a public figure. Oh, uh, you know, she's got she's important. That's weird. She's important. You know, you got to do it. All right. Uh, how about you, Steve? How many times should uh, your wife have to tell you the exact same thing over and over again? What? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, that, I don't listen to that bitch. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I'm so sorry. Just, I don't think that you're a bitch at all. At I, all. I, no. Please don't be mad at me. Yep. Uh, she doesn't listen to this show. <laughs> she somebody will play it for her. No, nope, they won't. Like, That's Did you what, hear what happens. Mike Baldwin said about you. <laughs> <This is laughs> she doesn't give a fuck about anything you say. This is She's what useless. happens. That's true. This is what happens. So the guys go home and listen to us uh, whenever they have it, and then they go home and they tell their wives or their significant others. It's like, man, laughing on the sidelines was a really good like fucking show today. And then the wives get so annoyed that then they're the ones starting to send us questions. Uh-huh. So I we guess. Put them on I guess. Blast. Here's the thing. If you're going to fucking say it, say it close enough to where I can actually hear. If you sound like the teacher from Peanuts because you're so far away and I'm like, what? And you know I can't fucking hear you? Stop. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> my, like, dad, it's just, my dad it's, used to do that shit. He, yeah. would, he would just... Yelling from the other side of the house like I'm going to hear what but the fuck his, you But his theory or whatever was like, it, I'm talking to you. Come in here. Yeah. So oh, I can tell you what I'm saying. Oh, that must be my wife's theory, too. I just never really put two and two so together. So I would be in my room, and he, I'd hear, Michael, yeah. and I'd be like, what? And then he would just be silent. Yeah. Oh, and I hate that. Sometimes I would say what like again, trouble. and then I would finally open the door and walk out there and be like, what? Yep. And he'd be like, I wanted you to come in here so I could show you this. And I'm like, you could fucking yell that. <laughs> and I would have. I'll tell you the secret. If you want to get his attention, eye contact. Eye contact, if you... Catch his eyes. He's listening. Get your tits out. <laughs> he's not listening <laughs> and, anymore. Yeah. That, no, not at that, all. That'll listen. No, yeah. no, no, you won't. You'll just stare. Probably. Anyways, uh, next one. Well, honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of boob is that if yeah. you're honking with two fingers? Well, you know. Uh-huh. The nipples. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, next one. Where do you draw the line? This comes in from Twitter. This is Elijah Inman. He wants to know. Yep. How many Thanksgiving get-togethers is too many for one day? Like one? One. Seven is one. too many. Uh, yeah, I well, two. Uh, hold on. Two. Two. Two? So, yeah, but the first one, you're going to blow it out. Like, you that's all to. there is to it. You're going to blow it out at the first one, and then you're going to go, oh, we'll come by and, and eat dessert at the second one. Oh, yeah, no. And that's all you – yeah, it's, <sighs> oh, it's weird. I dude. think two, two, two may work. But here's the thing: what happens is whenever you prepare a turkey for mm-hmm. for one group of people, right, yeah. and you go over to somebody else's house, they're not having Thanksgiving dinner. They're they're you're eating leftovers of whoever was over there at like one or two o'clock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's just not near as good. Yeah, I think I you have I think you have one, and then you can have a friend. Yeah, have like giving. the main event. Yeah, have the main you event. Know? Yeah. You know, right around two o'clock in yeah. the afternoon. Right. That's Thanksgiving, oh, and then then you have Friendsgiving, where who you take all of the leftovers from Thanksgiving uh, on Thursday, and then you have Friendsgiving on Saturday, and so that's like two, but they're separated. It's not in one day. I will say there's this thing at at Trader Joe's. Yeah, I'm not a huge Trader Joe's fan because I don't get it. Uh, I love it. It's just it's like a half ass grocery it. store that doesn't have everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. so it's very weird to me. You're but like, my wife drags me there, and they were like, "We have cocoa leaves." Yeah, it's <laughs> like, wait, what? And you're like, All right, so can I? How do I? And I? It's like I don't know, and they're wearing Hawaiian shirts. That just pisses me off <laughs> to begin with. But it's uh, they have this thing called a Danish Kringle. I don't know what, to dude. Do. It's like this. I don't know what the fuck it is. It is one of the best things I've ever had in my entire life. And I feel like everyone that listens to this needs to start their holiday morning with a Danish Kringle. And the the parade on TV, okay, and that would make for the best Thanksgiving. Ever. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Last one for that's where I draw the line. This comes in from Facebook. 
I uh, believe his name is Brett Mansky. Uh, he wants to know, how gay will you act with your buddies before it gets weird? Oh, not well, the military <laughs> takes that to a different fucking level. Yeah. Um, but they reverse psychologize it. What, yeah. you won't blow me? Why, yeah. are you scared? Yeah. Are you scared yeah, that true. it'll make you it's gay? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes you just got to take a dick in the ass to oh prove you're God. not gay. To prove no. how not so, gay I am. Yeah, <laughs> that's, exactly. That's not something you try. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, it's, I like. Um, I don't. I don't know that I do or don't like dicks in my ass. I know that I like the feeling of poop coming out of my ass. Oh, well, you might. So like I the feel like it, poop going in. At least half of butt sex would be like, all right. I know this feeling. This is enjoyable. I did not see this going this direction. The other at all. half, though, I don't know if I could. If I could just do all out. <laughs> so I guess I'm gay for like eating a lot and then just, taking a big shit. Just swallow a double in. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. But now it yeah. has to weave through your intestines and shit. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I would say not that gay. I'm not super gay around my friends. No. We used to kind of play around with it in high school, where we would like fake, like lean in to kiss one another. That's, that's what I'm talking about. And then the other guy, once you got too close, would be like, "All right, dude, yeah, no yeah, more." And I'm like, "Oh, you lose." Yes, it's and he's like, "Do I?" His gay chicken is what it was, and I think it was just a ploy for the actual gay guys to get as far as they possibly like could. Like, which one will do it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, like I don't like any of that at all. I draw the line at eye contact in a weird way. I don't. Well, what like about the it. nut flicks? Uh, that's not gay. That's not gay. That's, that's inflicting. Fun. That's yeah, inflicting that pain, and yeah. it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, we we called it Peter Tap all yeah. the time, <laughs> and you did it with the back of your hand. Yeah, like that. that's true. Like uh, you could jack somebody off with the back of your hand, and I don't think that's gay. <laughs> that's not gay. At I mean, all. I think that's gay. Yeah, yeah that's, I don't know. It's kind of gay. It doesn't. The body part. God, that your guys' camping trips aren't gay. <laughs> You're like, no, Especially he just, with he your uncle. The, no. he just fucked the crease in my arm. That's not gay. <laughs> it's my arm. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I've got a guy. And, and granted, I'm very easy to fuck with. That's why this show is a success. And I completely understand it. But I'm also yeah, equal. Yeah, that's why the show is a success. Oh, no. That's not just why the show. No. That's just one of the reasons. It's because I'm very easily fuck withable. But oh, speaking God, of. The Chinese people must have known we were talking about him. I just got something from Alibaba on my watch. Nice. Your, your beard looks nice now that it's grown out. It wasn't. Thank you. It was freshly shaved yeah. the last time I was here. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, yeah. I, look, I look much, yeah, much better. I just shaved. I have a. But what I was going with is I'm very easily, easily fuck withable mm -hmm. at work as well. Oh. And that is how people like. Re just make me really uncomfortable. I've got a technician that will come up behind me when I don't know it, and he'll like lick my ear, and I oh, freak the fuck I out. I think he wants to fuck no, you. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He definitely doesn't. He just wants to fuck with me, and I completely understand. I know I'm very easy to poke the buttons of, and that's why. Here's what I you mean. do next time: you turn around and you fucking stick your tongue down his throat. You, <laughs> you assert dominance. Nope. Not going to do it because mm. I don't like it at all. Not you, for me. You just blow him then. Nope. You got to do something to assert your dominance. Definitely not. Definitely not. Like with his tongue? Yeah. Yeah. Like he he'll, licks it's, him. It's so fucking annoying. He'll come up behind me and sometimes he won't even lick my ear. He'll just like breathe on my ear. I, like, I, I think that's more acceptable I than I fucking We're going hate to HR. it both. I hate <laughs> it both. <laughs> Wet willies also, are one thing, but that's finger to ear. Yeah. And that's yeah. different. That's yeah. fine. Finger to ear. I don't like it, but it's like, okay, that's it's socially like, accessible. It's a joke. It's a yeah. joke. Don't no. fucking lick me. When he, oh God, it just. Uh, I have the same rule for buttholes. Yeah. Same one. I don't want to get my face down there. Yeah. But I will lick my finger and stick it in there <laughs> yeah. and That's then the check check my nail <laughs> oh, and be like gross. no all right we're good to go <laughs> so the line that i have is very very not very far compared to anybody else's <laughs> anyways <laughs> That is, that's where I draw the line. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Questions in Spanish preguntas. Yeah. And questions. Yeah. Everybody likes this one a lot. Um, but you know what? We actually have a bonus question for this week uh, because it is specifically uh, a question for comedians. Uh oh. Yeah. This is actually Yay. a question from Twitter. This is from Brady Harrington. Brady! He has a question for only Steve and Mike, and he wants to know... <laughs> What are some tips for writing and editing or reworking jokes for a tight five-minute set? You want to take this one? 
Uh, I think you both have probably something to add to yeah, it. Yeah, you can All go right. first, so, and then I'll tell you what the real answer is. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. I always, if it's something new, I got to record it. So you I, can then hear I, it? But then I never do because I forget. Uh, you got so the I'll watch, and, don't you? I'll try and remember it. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think I can record on the watch. You absolutely can. You have a voice recorder, voice memos on the Shut watch, the fuck up, and I. Sure. And this is the hand that I hold my mic in, so I'm literally talking into the microphone of my watch. Oh, fuck, you learn something new. I record every, day. every set, and it says the time too. So all you got to do is glance at your watch, and you can see exactly how, many how long it's you're been going since you've. Look, Brady. At the end <sighs> of the day, it's a numbers thing. As many times as you can get on stage with it, and just I don't I do a lot of that on stage. I get all my tags on stage for the most part. I take a premise to stage, and it's usually a fucking disaster. And you might get a couple laughs here and there, or whatever. And I'll usually read it off my phone, and I'll have like ten things for a brand new five minute set if I'm going to do like an open mic, and it's always new shit. And I'll just kind of judge, you know, what is it, three times, right? You take it to stage at least three times and figure out if that's what you want to do is keep it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I will <sighs> start from there. And I have voice memos on my phone where I write it in long form. Some guys just put a set list up there and it's like a word or something like that. But I'll work with that for a while until I can get it trimmed down to where it's just kind of muscle memory in your brain and you can use it. Yeah. How about you there, That's Mike? That's what I do. I don't know. Uh, well, the way that I was taught, I started comedy in about the year 2000, so we were still pen and paper society back then. Yep. Yep. So, uh, and this is the way I still do it today, uh, except I kind of use the computer now more than pen and paper. But I will uh, do a set. I'll record it, of course, because I have the watch and the ability, and mm -hmm. I'm smart, and I remember. Uh, <laughs> but you record it, then you go back, and you play it, and you transcribe it. You write word for word everything that you said, the ums, oh, the likes, fuck. all that shit. And then you, when it's written, then you go through and you cross out every word that you do not need. And the example that they always used to teach us when we were young was like, if you're telling a story about your mom cooking dinner, don't say... My mom got the pans out. She put some oil in. She put right. some chicken on. Yeah. Just my mom made dinner. Let yep. the audience paint their picture yep. of what that means to them. It's about word con conservation. So unless it's something funny about the way she fucking of course she put but, the oil and then spread it with her tit or something. Yeah, but that's know? not funny. That's just sad. Steve. <laughs> yeah, that just sounds like it would hurt. Titty right. oil, mom. Yeah. That's so weird. So my Thanksgiving is different oil than your guys. Mom. Oh, I'm clicking on that. <laughs> but no, God. just cross out the words you don't need, the ones that don't get laughs or yeah. assist the story at all. Word economy is uh, huge. And, and then, yeah, try it over and over again. Do as many open you mics as you can. Times. It's all about consistency and uh, okay, but practice. What if, all right, what if he lives somewhere where there's not a lot of mics or it's not like a good community for comedy and shit like that? Like, what do you think about Zoom mics? I don't like them at all. I hate them. They don't I give fucking hate internet I don't comedy think it's a real not, feedback. I don't think it's a real experience. Uh, yeah, I mean, it can be done, but it's not yeah. good practice. If you don't live in a town that has a, a steady open mic night, then either move or start one. Yeah. Uh, yeah because I true. guarantee no matter what town you live in, there's at least three or four other dipshit guys just like us that are like, wait, they're doing comedy up there now? I'll go <laughs> yeah. do some comedy. Oh, yeah. And then you never know. And if nothing else, then you're helping out the local bar by yeah. Having the yeah, uh, Tuesday where they do something because yeah. nobody's yeah. coming in there on Tuesday anyway. Yeah. So and if you're gonna start an open mic, call Google, us. And yeah, Google. We'll come and yeah, do open no mic shit. At it. Fuck yeah. If it's within uh, 500 miles of where I currently am. Oh yeah. Before I forget. <laughs> uh, speaking of, I did a show. I was in uh, the Fayetteville. Uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Fayetteville, mm -hmm. not Fayette. 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 That's like that's what I call my friends when they're being too. I'm like, quit being a fan. Uh, anyway, I was in Fayetteville and I did a, a comedy show, and a guy walked up to me afterwards, and he was like, "Dude, the only reason I'm here is laughing on the sidelines." And I was like, yeah. "Oh shit, no dude, way, thanks, that's man. badass, dude." And I was like, "Scotty's dumb, huh?" He was like, oh, yeah, "I don't watch it for Scotty. I watch it for you." I that's can not true. I can say this because it's you guys, but. That's the whole reason. And that would be, I'm not a comedian. I'm not a stand-up comic. We noticed. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, not even that funny. <laughs> but that nice. That was the initial, <laughs> that was the initial plan of, of uh, once we switched from the Ultimate Sports Cast to Laughing on the Sidelines. It was actually a, a thing to try to get the comedians more exposure to where people can see it. So if you don't have an open mic, 
don't do material as a podcast. That's that's not what I would suggest to do. But that is a way to at least get your name out there because uh, that's what I actually designed Laughing on the Sidelines initially to actually do, to be able to set up comedians with opportunities to make something funny. It's Which, basically just like Joe yeah, Rogan. I mean, that's the exact yeah. same thing. I mean, like, there's no difference. We're that's doing what, that Do you guys want to smell some smelling salts? <laughs> I actually have some uh, here no. somewhere. But what I'm saying is, is that was initially the idea was to get guys exposure. So if you are in that weird situation, you can start a podcast, but the less of a name you have, the harder it's going to be. Um, and, I, and me personally, I'm the audience member whenever we do this show. Mm-hmm. Really? I mean, that's what I, I'm not. My job is not mm-hmm. to make the funny, but it. but I mean, even though I write the show, I try to set you guys up as much as possible. Right. But I try to sure. do the show looking through the eyes of an audience member watching the show uh, as far as finding the funny. And, and I have been so very, very blessed and lucky to have been around comedians long enough. Now we've been doing the show for four and a half, almost five years. And it's really crazy, but I feel so lucky to have the opportunity to be around you guys because I lear- I feel like I learned so much from you. All so, right. So it's really oh, yeah, wow. it's it's being really nice. I know I'm I'm, quit, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm being honest, but I, I love all of you guys, and it's really cool to watch uh, other people fall in love with you too because I actually get to talk to you after the show, and you guys are always so nice and well, stuff. Yeah, right? we just All play right. gay chicken yeah. after every show. <laughs> exactly. Just licking Scotty's ear. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> fucking <laughs> weird, bro. You, you did say one thing there, which is like, don't start a podcast or wh- however you said it. But I think like start a podcast yeah. because nobody's going to listen to it right now. That's and, correct. That's and true. Zero yeah. podcast experience. Yeah. yeah. It'll give you a good year to get good at it yes. before yeah. anybody's actually yeah. clicking Speaking, on it and that's shit. True. That's correct. I, and I don't mean that. I, I meant it like that. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna start a podcast, and I tell this to anybody who's starting a podcast, dude, I just remembered my wife and I are gonna start a podcast. You said I that think like I four weeks ago, that. and they still hadn't had the first Fuck, episode yet, dude. Yeah, but anyway. we're gonna do it. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, it, really, and people, I tell this to people doing podcasts all the time. If you're going to start one, don't sit there and think you're going to have a hundred listeners in the first year. Yeah. Because uh, honestly, yeah. we didn't even have that the first year doing our show. It legitimately took about two years before we had our first big hit, and then it started to to get. So you're going to go through a lot of hard work unless you're already an established comedian who already has t- you know thousands right. of followers. It's going to take a lot of work, and it's going to be an to uphill battle. To speed that up, though, you could say some things that could get you canceled. 100%. And then it'll go viral, yes. and then people will be like, who the fuck is this guy? And then you'll have millions. That's 100% percent correct. That's if you want to get the most clicks is say something something like if there's a line drawn in the sand uh-huh. you want to take a full step over that line oh, don't yeah. uh-huh. jump over that line just one step and that's that's how it happens that reminds me go. of uh, i think it was a eugene merman joke about uh doing laundry and he was like washing uh, doing a load of whites and uh, a red sock ended up in his laundry yeah. and he was like god damn colors <laughs> oh <my laughs> getting gosh. in and mixing with the whites and ruining the whole load <laughs> Jesus. that's oh taken god. out of context that's not a, right. a good thing that yeah. i said but in context yeah totally fine yeah but anyways I, that, I thought that was really cool thank you for both of you for answering that question i hope that helps you out uh brady okay now the actual questions uh, first question comes in from Instagram. This that was is, an actual. Oh question. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like that was an actual, an actual question. These but now are the, the actual good one. No, these are the fun <laughs> questions. Brady. The, actually, I tell you what, the, Brady has actually. I given hope us, Brady responds and tells us where he's at. Uh, so maybe, yeah, that'd be cool. Open mic. Um, but uh, that was an actual question. These are the pregnant questions. Is okay. what these are. Okay. The perguntas. That's right. Uh, anyways, first one comes in from Instagram. This is from Chris W. He wants to know. What is the new Thanksgiving movie starring Kevin Hart and Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Oh, is that right? I think so. That'd be that'd be a good one. Uh, that'd be kind of weird. Think that Kevin Hart is probably the most unfunny guy ever. Really? Yeah. I think. He's well, funny. I've yeah, seen I him. He's... I've seen him live. He's oh. very nice. Yeah. And uh, he was. That's never a good compliment for a comedian. He, he, was, he was. Hey man, how was the show? Nice. <laughs> nice guy. guy. Yeah, great guy. Some, yeah. Some funny so stuff, nice. But it wasn't. 
You that, know. Is a, that is a that is an inside joke between comedians. If they say you're nice, you are nice, <laughs> but you are not funny. Yeah, being yeah. being a funny comedian is equal to being a pretty woman, and that is <laughs> yeah. if you have yeah. to ask people if they think you are, you're yeah. probably not. Yeah. Yeah. If you are, people will go out of their way to, to tell, tell you. you. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Uh, let's see. Mine. Uh, I I figured new comedy coming out this year is going to be fried chicken and Hawaiian ham. That's what it's going to be called. Oh, we're just supposed to make up names? Yeah, make up names. Oh, name. I thought there was really a movie no, with these. No, you're you making up. You thought it was a, a quiz? Oh, no, oh. no, you're yeah, making uh, up the name. I couldn't think of anything. It was like the, I was going through rock movies, so I'm like, the rundown. Um, yeah. What's running down? Yeah. Kevin oh. Hart is running down yeah. my leg. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm dumb. Jumanji 3. Jumanji. <laughs> yeah, no, the, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. this one takes place in Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fuck. We got 18 uh, hours to get out of here. <laughs> oh, God. That would be interesting. <laughs> that'd, that'd be, be, a, that'd be yeah. a tough one right now. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. Uh, next question. Uh, this uh, comes in from somebody. I, oh, fuck. I didn't give him credit, and I'm sorry. I'll uh, look for you next because uh, you'll probably know who you are. Uh, this comes in. This is uh, a question. It is rejected names for the Plan B pill. The womb nuke. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, that one. Did you read these earlier? Did you no, just I, think no, of that? I never fucking read. Or is womb reading. nuke just your thing <laughs> that you said before? I that's pretty good, right? You could just nuke the fucking womb. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Man, I've never Shit. seen your face this red before. I like it. What else do we have? <laughs> Yay! I got applause. The wound <laughs> Here's a plan B for you. How about you be a fucking responsible adult and raise the child that God decided you were supposed to have? Apparently, plan A is I just want to keep doing whatever the fuck I'm doing. Grandpa Mike with the fucking fire ass knowledge. <laughs> These kids and their fucking throwaway society. <laughs> oh, fuck. True. It's a fucking womb nuke. I'm so sorry. That's well, beautiful. Uh, uh, it just made me think of like yeah. Napal Name Palm or something yeah. like that. Yeah, Napal Name Palm. Oh, shit. That was fucking amazing. The ovary eviscerator. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Zygote be gone. (laughs) How do you... I I like this. This is a fun fucking game. What else do we got there? What else is there? Oh, Oh, fuck. Uh, The sperm flusher. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Yeah. (laughs) And womb nuke is still the best. <laughs> that would be a good t-shirt. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Enough. Speaking of, I have a Steve Peters t-shirt oh, on tonight. Oh, fuck, he does have oh, a Steve Peters slightly, slightly ghetto. ghetto. Fuck, yeah. I am slightly ghetto. It's, it's wonderful how many uh, non-white people point at me when I'm wearing this and go, that's fucking awesome. I know. <laughs> that's yeah. great. And I'm like, oh, really? Because I, I, I was kind of scared to wear I it. I like my BTK is a bitch shirt. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Yeah, that's a good one. But I love not, that. I like this one better. No, but not as many people That's get true. that one. Uh, can you can you still buy those t-shirts? But I don't know. I uh, no. You can buy mine. Yeah, fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we can. Maybe probably, I'll, I'll I'll put some together. Maybe I can I can help you with that. Probably. Okay. Yeah, we can nice. figure it out. Like it. The next uh, question is yeah. not entirely different from the previous question. It's still <laughs> it's different, not. but it's still along, different, in the but same it's closer. General uh, category. God damn it! I'm gonna try to look for rejected names for Plan B and give you a shout out on the on the uh, YouTube or something. I'll tag you. Uh, but anyways, the next question <laughs> is from Instagram. This is J Redcorn 13. Uh, he wants to know what would be the worst reactions for a pregnancy scare. <laughs> Fucking womb nuke. That <laughs> what about, what about the fallopian roto rooter? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a good plan B name. Oh, Apparently, fuck. according to all, most of the girls that I've heard from in the last few years, the worst reaction to a pregnancy scare would be for me to get down on one knee. Yeah. And oh, be like, shit. all right, I'm yeah. really excited. Let's fucking yeah. do it. Yeah. 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 yeah that'd be bad. They'd you are like, locked oh, in fuck, at that you want point. Me to keep this thing? Which <laughs> is exactly what I'll do once I meet the right one. First. <laughs> 
Well, yeah. it doesn't even have to be the right one. No, it just, just has to be the close. turtle one. Yeah, close enough. You know yeah. that kind of thing. Hit me up, ladies. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I think the yeah, J Redcorn. By the way, my, J Redcorn thirteen. Yeah, yeah. What the answer the, to my next I question is probably going to ruin my pregnancy hopes, but we'll uh, we'll figure it out. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, this next one has been modified again. This is coming from Twitter. This is Ian Smoke. Excuse me, Ian underscore Smoke PW. He wants to know movie titles that describe how you are in bed. Get shorty. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Armageddon. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I, Armageddon sucks, man. I love yeah, that movie. You know what pisses movie. me off about it? What? The lack of Armageddon. Yeah. There was no Armageddon. That I, is true. They that should call true. it. It was pretty close to. <laughs> it was almost Armageddon. Yeah. Um, That's why I like Deep Impact. There's a fucking Deep Impact in the movie. They came out the exact same time, too, by the way. More or less, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Anyway. Mine, uh, Speed. Speed, Speed. okay. Best part about Speed, they came out with a sequel, and it is Speed 2. So that's mine. What's the tag of speed two? Doesn't matter. All right. Yeah, you just get two very speedy rounds from me. That's yeah. very good. Okay. Uh, what about uh, your spouse? Or no, what about you? You you haven't answered. What's uh, what's a movie? Uh, what's a movie from you? The Lion King. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You just hold your wife up like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what about? Oh, there's a lot of Akuna Matata going on <laughs> in my bedroom for sure. Yeah, yeah. No like, worries. I, I came already. Ah, days. don't worry about yeah. it. It's fine. Yeah, it's, oh wow. Uh, yep. What about same question only for your spouse? Oh, I don't know. I can't think of a biblical movie right now. So that's, uh, uh, there's a religious passion experience. of the Christ. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that's how that's how into fucking you are. I have yeah, the passion yeah, of Christ yeah. in the bedroom. Uh, Three ninjas, Ghost that? Mountain. <laughs> What was that movie with fucking Will Ferrell and the dude from Napoleon Dynamite in it where they're figure skaters? Blades of oh, Glory. Blades yeah. of Glory. Blades of Glory. Well, that's a good one. Yeah. I put uh, She's Not That Into You. Okay. okay. That, uh, that was mine. Yeah, I like Mike? That I don't. I get shorty. I just have a small meter. <laughs> yeah. Anything that has tininess in its name. You could go with Alone. Uh, or Panic Room. I don't like. I don't, nobody's panicking around me. <laughs> Fine. Nobody's like. I got to get out of here. I did have a girl wake up one time that she stayed the night. <laughs> not not during. Like, I mean, whoa, this is weird. She's awake. <laughs> no, she she stayed the Holy night. Holy shit, the date rate drug were <laughs> off. We were both drunk the night before, so it was clearly Jesus. like a mistake on both of our parts. But I remember she woke up, and it was probably like four in the morning. So just like the slightest hint of of light coming into the room, yeah. And you could tell she just didn't know where she was. She walked into a dresser, and then she was like feeling around oh, at the walls shit. and stuff. And wow. I was like, "What are you doing?" And she was like, "Where am I?" In like a gruff voice that, and it so was I, a dude. I flipped the light on, and I. I was like everything's fine you're here remember and yeah wow. so that was weird hopefully the statute of limitations has run out on <laughs> that one. it's really right. weird when the police were outside no, i'm so, not giving her up i i had a rule with myself this week and it is we can go as long as we want because everybody's on on uh traveling yeah we're running oh, long and, yeah. and i don't give a shit yeah. oh, okay <laughs> cool yeah go. so anyways thanks for still listening and i'm sorry if you're listening at one and a half speed we talk really fast sometimes I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyways uh last one uh this comes in from nobody this was a question that i found uh mm-hmm. that nobody sent in okay. uh and it is on top of getting drunk Are you sure this wasn't one of the ones that jeremy robbins had sent <laughs> in and you just looked over it you know what we're gonna give him credit for that one Fun anyway yeah. this comes in from jeremy robbins uh nice. he wants to know on top of getting drunk what side effect do you wish alcohol would also have if you drank too much bigger wiener oh god our wieners would be fucking massive yeah man. That's fine. Ooh, and I, mine, I haven't drank in eight years. Oh, I wish it made me lose that's weight. Why. Mine's the appropriate <laughs> size for how much I've had to drink. <laughs> I wish it would make me lose weight. Like you that woke up great. in the morning and you were like, oh, six pack. It does the exact That'd opposite. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I would I wish that the more you drank, you would still get drunk, obviously, with all mm-hmm. of these. 
But I wish you would be like a, a genius when you're smart. Like, like, yeah, smart. Be, yeah. like you're fucked like a, up, like but a you're limitless mm, pill. Yes. But you're still fucked up and inebriated, so you're just so nobody like nobody takes you seriously. Yeah, exactly. You're I think like, that would this be hilarious. Is how we cure world hunger? Yeah, and they're like, okay, shut the fuck up, dude. And then it's bullshit yeah. because you're gonna tell everybody how to like kill, like how to get rid of cancer, and then you yeah. wake up the next morning and forget everything. Yeah, you're blacked out. Fuck that. Yeah, that would suck. That, that would great. suck. So that's that's mine. You gotta take notes. Everybody, if get you one. have an Apple Watch. Apparently, you can just voice memo. Yourself. You sure can. You Somehow, sure can. I don't know. And the new iPhones, I don't have one. Uh, maybe somebody will donate some money at, uh, <laughs> at MikeIsFunny.com. But the new iPhones oh have the uh, – they took off the mute switch, and now what? it's what's the, what they call the action button. And you can set it to do almost anything, including open your voice notes and start recording. So you can just do that with one – So this a, is – so that, I can hit that, and then uh, I can see. Yep. But that's all I got. You That's all you need. You can't change that to voice recorder? <laughs> Maybe, but I need the time thing. Yeah, we'll, okay. we'll look at it right. and we'll walk them through the technology while we go out. And Why do you need a time thing <clears throat> on your watch? Why do you need I gotta a stopwatch? Because i got to keep my time. i got to uh. keep my time when I'm on stage. Mm, funny. We will talk about that because that's anyways. exactly what the voice recorder does. We'll figure it out. That's oh. just, This is an off-the-air right. off conversation. But anyways, no, it's not. It's fucking important. Yeah. Everybody. Questions and pregunches. Thank you guys also very much for sending in your suggestions yeah. for on Monday Fun Day. Especially Jeremy Robbins. That's right. And uh, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Drift, and I fucking won last week, baby. Did you? What was last Yay. week's? No, I didn't. I take that <laughs> back. No, I didn't. I won the week before. Do you have Do you have an aw? Yeah. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> That's, I forget. I won the week before, but because the people that were on the draft the week before are not here, I take we win. There we go. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Fuck yeah. But no, I came in dead last. <laughs> so oh, that's shit. Yeah. what was last week's. Last week's was the uh, actually it was a really good one. I, it was uh, really funny, but it was the weirdest sex fetishes. Ah. Yeah. And I again I'm bland apparently, right. but n- nobody's shocked by that. Um, Scotty was like keeping my socks on. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I keep my socks on during sex. Oh, I don't right now because I clip my toenails in the last oh, week no. or so. But for the next <laughs> 90 days, oh, you're going to want to stay away. No. Anyways, uh, so this week, uh, because of the, of the technicality, I uh, I get to have the championship picks. Okay. Uh, because Steve has been here most recently, uh, Steve gets the middle or the sandwich picks. And Mike, it's been the lo- longest for you, so you get to have the first pick of this week's draft. And uh, we're going to keep the Thanksgiving theme kind of sort of uh, oh, yeah. going. Uh, and this is for all of you people traveling. Uh, this is going to be the conversation topics you should not bring up at Thanksgiving. There you Here go. There we go. And I go first. Uh, Mike, you get the number one pick. My, go for it. My answer is the dryness of the turkey. The dry. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You don't want to talk about that at the table. Oh, that is a good man. One. That, that is a good one. The only way that's allowed is if it's the person who cooked it that's talking about it. They're allowed to go, it's dry, it's bad. And then everyone else has to chime in and go, what? No. Absolutely it not. It's perfect. just fine. Mm-hmm. Literally, like, though, for those of you watching, Steve's wife made the best turkey that I've ever <laughs> tasted in my entire life. I, was it last year? Or yeah, it, yeah, it was last year. It was good. Like, and, it was, really, and was that for Christmas or the, was that uh, It might have been Christmas. I think I it was Christmas. I don't remember, but I know that I texted you and uh, or you said days earlier, like swing on by or whatever. Yeah. And then and then I we were texting and you were like, I don't want to brag, but this might be the Dude, best turkey that my wife yeah. And I was like, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> and it was literally one of those things where like, I took a bite of it and just came in the game <laughs> immediately. I was like, this is, it was That's just That's why so the gravy aw, was better. Perfectly yeah, yeah. cooked. Anyway, all right. All right, Steve, what is your first pick? 
Uh, I would not bring up that my first ex-wife would be able to cook better than this. <laughs> God I damn think it. That would be a rough one to oh, talk about. Wow. Right? Uh, okay. That's a very good one. Um, I am uh, going to kick off this with, uh, I get my two. So mm-hmm. I'm going to go with your graphic health problems. Yes. Okay. Not why you're fucking eating people. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I had to get God. a boil lance the other exa- day. This yeah. is no bullshit. Yeah. I've had, I mean, she's not even by blood. She's like a step grandparent. Mm. I shit you not for Thanksgiving uh, before we ate, while we were waiting for the turkey to get done, mm. she put on a videotape of her getting her gallbladder removed. Ah, fucking nice. disgusting. Jesus, how do you eat with a boner? <laughs> <laughs> easily <laughs> oh god i remember my aunt was over she was a nurse her whole life and uh she came over for dinner one night and it doesn't these gross stories aren't gross to her you know she's just telling stories mm-hmm. about work and she was like this guy came in and he had been constipated for a month oh. and we had to literally dig in his asshole to pull shit out and my mom just dropped her spoon into the <laughs> into the chili bowl and walked away oh. and was like i can't fucking eat and listen to this and you were eating chili that's too what, that, that's awesome that was the big punchline was that I yes it. it was a shit looking food yeah i love it i uh, love it that's my first pick Wait, uh, what was your second one? Oh, the, my, the no, my medical second, thing. No, that was my first pick. Oh. was the graphic medical problems. Uh, my second pick, though, is going to be your views of the current or the sitting president of the United States of America. That is going to be, and I think that should probably be number one, because even if you're in a family where everybody kind of thinks the same and you talk loud enough to where everybody can hear it, there's always going to be that one motherfucker that disagrees with you mm-hmm. and it's going to fuck everything up. So yeah, that's, I, that's I like it. That's I, I know some people really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. And so you can not listen to me or listen to me. I don't care. But that, that one, I, yeah, that's my next pick okay uh steve what is your second pick uh i would not be you know like coy about current events and things like that that are inflammatory you know where you're just like you know these yeah, yams, so vague these yams are so burned what did you cook them in a fucking <laughs> hospital in gaza oh, fuck. you know something like that like i wouldn't uh I don't know. Try and bring up current events that are, are divisive. Okay. I you know? well, well, I mean, let's be a little bit more specific here. Okay. So you said Gaza. Uh huh. That's you just a big put, one, I think. You, you want to do like uh, compare the food to Gaza? Well, all right. You said it. I mean, uh, we'll go with that one. You want to go with that one? <laughs> okay. I like it. I, I think know. that's. I don't know about that one. I don't know. I think I like it's it. already like written that's, down. That's I, your I think so. Fuck. I think so because that's a that's a current event. I get it. Yeah, uh, Mike, you get two in a row. Oh shit. Um, okay, can I still say the 2020 election? Uh, I mean, or is that stepping that's, on yours? That's kind of stepping on mine a little okay. bit. Okay. All right. All right. Um, the fact that uh, thirty uh, before I say this, you're uh, there's a lot of elderly people at Thanksgiving dinners. A lot. Oh, one hundred percent. So you probably shouldn't bring up the fact that uh, 39% of people over the age of 60 have herpes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even know what you would call that. Um, <laughs> you just have to write the entire thing out. No, I'm just going to say herpes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, just a shorthand. Uh, but you get your next, you get two in a row. So this is, uh, that was your first one. What's your row. next one? Stepsister porn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. It's not a good thing to bring up in front of your family. No, especially if you're if you have a stepdad. That was actually one of my picks for later, but I didn't I didn't know how to word it. But that's good enough. I jumped on it. You did, mm-hmm. uh, Steve. How about your next pick? Uh, I would not bring up the amount of times that Jeremy Robbins has submitted suggestions <laughs> to a show. Your family would be so mad. Yeah, they'd be fucking livid. All right. I like it. Oh, man. This is much better. We're getting, we're getting on the right track, I think. Um, I am going to go with, um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. All right, I get two in a row. 
Uh, I'm going to go with uh, don't bring up your child's accomplishments. I'm going to. No. Luckily Nobody gives losers. a fuck. <laughs> Kids are losers, so I don't have to worry about it. Actually, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that one back. I'm just gonna be no. I'll just keep it. I'll keep it there because the same thing. I was gonna say like bring it like show start showing pictures of your your other friends and stuff like that. But that's beside. I'll I'll stay with child's accomplishments. Okay, uh, it's kind of along the same line. Um, I'm then gonna go with uh, let's see. Oh, telling everybody about your fucking diet. Mm, I have something along those lines. Yeah, telling somebody. I mean, like they don't give a fuck if you're on a diet. Just do it yourself. Uh, and I'm telling everybody. It's yeah. Thursday. It's it's Thanksgiving. It's Turkey Day. This is cheat day. This is the one that everybody accepts as your cheat day. Oh, well, that's what I'm going to be talking food. about. Yeah. I'm going to be like, I haven't eaten like this in. Uh, hold on, let me check six my, weeks. My hindsight app, and I'll tell you exactly how many days it's been. Twenty nine days yeah. <laughs> yeah. of low carb, and I've been. And sticking with it yeah all right steve what's your next one uh when you sit down at the table there's not the time to ask what the vegan dishes are because <laughs> you're now a vegan yeah tell everybody you're a fucking vegan oh that's terrible poor person they really think they're doing a lot to i know them. i know it's, yeah. it's really good um mike these are your last two last two mike um one of them is gonna be uh COVID wasn't a big deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nobody wants to hear about that, especially when they got their mask on or whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> Though I do have a line now where I say, uh, wearing a mask in a room protects you the exact same amount as wearing your swimming trunks in a pool and peeing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, it's fine, guys. Don't worry about my pee. I got my trunks on. <laughs> It's like, yeah, well, it's still getting all over all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your last pick, Mike? Um, man. Oh, I've got whole. Oh, yeah. You got a good one? I've got two really good ones. Um, I haven't. Normally, when we get to this point, I've already thought of all my answers. So this is a completely thought up right now answer mm -hmm. of something mm -hmm. inappropriate. Uh, and that is when do you think the oldest person here is it's going to die? die. <laughs> <laughs> Death predictions. That's good. It's really sad. How about betting on it? <laughs> hey, just right in front of them. For what it's <laughs> worth, uh, I want. I had an idea for the show at one year to do. Let's let's uh, take a, a draft of who we think is going to die this year because we did it on January. Like a 1st. Deadpool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A Deadpool. Yeah. And, uh, and Derek shot it down. Uh, what? And, yeah, he didn't think it was a good idea. Mm. That's okay. Because he was afraid we were going to pick him. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was going to happen. And Diabetes was going to get him. He's like, you jinxed me. You jinxed it. Um, all right, Steve, this is your last pick. Go ahead. Uh, I think that you should not bring up at Thanksgiving dinner how, how competent of a leader Kamala Harris. Oh, is. you can't do exactly that. Come on. Not <laughs> a political show. What? You can't do what? that. What? Why? Yeah, uh, because it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's uh, swayed. That you think that the vice president That's is a competent thing. leader. You can't. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you, it's the same thing as oh, your you. Oh, you did views of president. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. Everybody knows what you think now. Uh,. Tell you what I think. Best president we ever had. <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to say who. Damn, now I don't know what I should say. Oh, yeah, there's a. Go, go to somebody else. No, I can't because I'm going to somebody pick. else. Let's, let's, it's uh, just us. Let's not sit down at the, at the Thanksgiving table and tell us how many times you've tried for having kids. Oh, that's a good. See, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying. We've been trying for eight yeah. months. Yeah, then I have to picture you getting fucking banged while you have a turkey <laughs> leg hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> That's always a weird conversation I've had. It is. I, I like, like, yeah. like, especially with like your like, like a, your a, mom's a, like, are you guys trying for kids? Yeah. Yeah, he's fucking <laughs> railing me right and left. <laughs> Oh, well, try not putting it in your ass this time. You might get pregnant. <laughs> oh, She's like, we've just been nuking the womb. <laughs> I forget what I was watching, but somebody said something along the lines of, uh, it's always fucking when you talk about the ass. It's never, I made love to her. I made love to her in her ass. 
That's great. <laughs> it was on something I watched. It's not. I didn't make it up by oh, any means. But it's still fucking great, though. Uh, I do. I have two. I have two really good ones. Uh, the first one that I am not going to pick mm-hmm. is like um, everybody says. Don't ever talk about uh, religion or politics mm-hmm. at the dinner table. Mm-hmm. And I, the, I can uh, honestly agree. I don't give a flying fuck about your religious position mm-hmm. or your religious journey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't mm-hmm. like, it, it's gonna, it's gonna piss off somebody and that somebody would be me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the one that I know for a fact that I want to do all the time, but trust me, you don't ever want to do it. And that is, Give parenting advice when you don't have yeah. fucking kids. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Don't well, I mean, fucking I'm, do it. I have a fur baby. Oh god, that's that's my wife, and we we refuse to call them our fur babies because they're not the dogs, but we love them. But just they're not fur babies. Dude, there was a Doritos, I believe, Super Bowl commercial on the ones that got deleted that they oh, wouldn't, yeah. and oh, it yeah. was. Uh, it was two people that had a brand new baby and they were talking about how having dogs was great training. And so the baby's sitting on the couch and she hits him with a newspaper and gets him <laughs> off. And then they pour baby food in a fucking dog bowl and he quarrels over it. I don't know how they didn't keep that one. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah, that, that is pretty great. funny, dude. I like that. Uh, the other one I was thinking of is like, uh, you don't talk about another person at the table's weight or something like that, but that kind of goes with the dieting God, thing. I'm going to. Yeah. yeah. Um, my my grand on both sides, my grandparents were famous for just being like, boy, you're getting fat, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just with no, no embarrassment or anything. Ugh. Just stating a fact, you have a red shirt and you're getting fat. <laughs> now, I do have a suggestion. If you have, like, I do have that one aunt that has to help uh, grandma cook the turkey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I always love giving her like a backhand uh, that she knows what I'm saying, but it's kind of a nicer way of saying that this is shit. And that uh, that is when you ask somebody the question, oh, what did you change in the recipe? Mm-hmm. That it, 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 no, it's different. Yeah, it's just different. It's not worse or better. It's just different. Something's different this year. That well, is, I don't know. That I, is not what you were saying. You were saying code word of don't help grandma with the fucking turkey ever again, <laughs> you cunt. Ugh. I would never say such a thing I but, I to it. a I human would. being. Uh, but anyways, hey, this one can go back up on Facebook. The last week's uh, sexual fetishes one couldn't make it. So <laughs> slash it. It, it was taken down immediately. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, yeah. It, 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 I didn't even try for sexual fetishes. So uh, this one will be, however, up on Facebook uh, on Wednesday morning. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for who has the best list of topics to not bring up at the dinner table and during Thanksgiving. And you can also go to uh, Twitter slash X, which is at L-O-T sidelines and vote there as well. Uh, But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Mike Baldwin's new special, which comes out on December the 7th. Yep, on YouTube at 7 something. On YouTube. And Kevin Hart at, Live. And it'll be out on the 8th on everything audio. There you go. So uh, you can buy it. or just, And it is, it is called? Number one top selling best comedy special ever. With Mike Baldwin. There you go. Um, but yeah, that is uh, the best name ever. (laughs) It works both ways. It works both ways. Uh, but anyways, yes, uh, this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather Mm -hmm. have, is it watch? Yeah, I'm sorry. Watch porn with your mom Mm -hmm. or (laughs) play gay chicken with your dad. Uh, Hmm. Wait, so are we watching porn with our mom sitting next to us, or we're watching porn starring our mother? I think it's way more fucked up if you are watching porn with your mom starring in the porn. You know, honestly, I would rather be alone and see yeah. that there's a porn with my mom in it that I would close immediately. Because that's a weird boner rather if she's than standing there. Yeah. 
that, or or oh. you're weird because your mom's like, "What do you you don't like naked chicks? What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. What are you gay? Why aren't you hard? Then you got to bring your dad in." <laughs> uh, but the other thing is, is though, like I'm sitting here going, like, porn with your mom. You either like watch a naked woman who is your mom, and you should not do that. Mm-hmm. Um, or you can play a game where you can easily say, nope, I fucking lose. That's it. It's over. It's done with. Even though it's weird, you're still not doing anything super fucked up. If you're playing gay chicken with your dad? Yeah, if you're playing gay chicken with your dad, it's like, nope, I lost. I fucking lost. And that's kind of how I get out of playing gay chicken is because I don't I don't like that shit at all. Well, the weird part for me is that uh, neither of my parents continue to be alive. Yeah. So that throws a weird angle on it. Yeah. I'm like, I'm <laughs> definitely gonna win gay chicken. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, are. That's a that is a uh, that's a that's a wild family movie to watch. Sure. I, but is, I can't you know? it would be a very traumatic experience for me to if someone was like, You have to jerk off to completion and oh, yeah, here's your so. your dead mom on the couch next to you. Oh yeah. yeah. That'd be I'd weird. be like, well, Fine. At least, at least she wouldn't say anything about it, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, that, that's a pretty fucking tough one. That's uh, my mom isn't around either, so. But you can always win that one. At least if at least if you're watching some guy fucking her and she's dead, it's like so gay chicken with your dad then, right? Yeah, I, I think I that's the that. obvious answer. I think so because you can yeah. immediately lose, and oh, I don't no, mind. I'm losing. a winner. Yeah, <laughs> so, no, I ain't uh, backing down from yeah. a challenge. No, uh-uh. oh, Dude, we're fuck. getting fucking naked. I'm no, I'm like I'm, my dick is going I'm, in. I'm something. blowing my dad. I'm like you're yep. so fucking gay, <laughs> dad. <laughs> exactly. I'm doing this to win a game. You're just doing it because you like it. Yeah. You know, dad isn't shaven either, so you're gonna get dad pubes. Oh no, you get them. You get them. Uh, you get the five point oh. Yeah, but yeah. we. Yeah, but they don't sponsor us anymore. Those motherfuckers. We need to get sponsored by a coffee company. Yeah, Black no. Rifle or something. Well, I just. Get, I don't know what. I don't, I, that's I don't the drink thing coffee, that I, so I buy the most. The either is. that, or if if anyone from the American Spirit Cigarette Company is watching, that would there be a go. wonderful oh, sponsor. Oh yeah, Native Americans, I, right? Yeah. No, we support oh, yeah. them. We have said like nothing it. negative about <laughs> exactly. Native Americans. Exactly, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. We have it. Uh, no, um, I, I do have a couple of sponsors I am looking into. But the thing is, is with people who sponsor the show, I'm very, very particular. I do not want to uh, be muzzled. I don't. I don't. I want to be able to do what we used to do, which was do our sponsors the way we want to do them, mm-hmm. and still obviously you know sell them lots of product, which is what we did for the longest time. Um, but uh, when we cannot do that anymore, then it's like, okay, well, I appreciate it and see you later. So, all right. It. But anyways, all right. ladies and gentlemen, what a fucking great episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very much. Drive it's been a, safe this yeah, week. Hopefully by this time you're already at your fucking destination because this yeah. is one of the longer episodes we've had in a very, very long time. But I got to say, I really, really, really enjoyed it. Thank you both to Mr. Mike Baldwin and Mr. Steve Peters for coming on the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Bang. We love it when you guys are here. Uh, and guys, uh, I sincerely do appreciate We sincerely do appreciate it. We got a good crew here at Laughing on the Sidelines. And the more we grow... Uh, that the more it helps these comedians get their their material out and people get to see them, it helps them. That's the whole point of the show in the first place. So and thank speaking you. Speaking of thanks to all the crew, everybody yeah, that's everybody. Yeah. Mitch yeah. in the back. Yeah, yeah. thank you yeah. very much. Jeremy Mitch. with the, the video cue cards. Yeah. yeah, everybody. Thank you yeah. guys so very much. But all of you listeners, thank you for sharing our content. We sincerely do appreciate. Go follow on our socials. And if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope you have to uh, take a womb nuke for getting you the baby be out of your fucking girlfriend (laughs) and until next time guys happy thanksgiving and keep laughing assholes we will see you later take care